Hi everybody. Let's get this party started. <laughs> Hi Leslie. Hi BB. I'm right here. <laughs> I'm up close. I've got kind of a different layout going on because I wasn't really sure how to do this because I'm going to be standing at times. I'm going to be sitting at times. <laughs> so I was like, let's go where you can see like this whole area, but also the top down at the same time. And I fussed with the lighting for so long because I wanted the curtains open, but I gave up and closed them. But then it looks so dingy that I had to open them up again. And it is overcast, but there's kind of like pockets. It's like partly cloudy, but like mostly cloudy. You know? <laughs> so the brightness might be kind of in and out, but it just looks so much better than with the curtains closed for this. Hi, Lieki. Hi, everybody. Hello, hello. So... I went through some of the some of the sticky notes yesterday and it was kind of a disaster. It was kind of a disaster. <laughs> there were a lot of B grades. So we'll see what the other ones are like. Because I went through all of these ones. Tulip wreath. So it was not good. A lot of them have black lines on the edge or that it's cut too far the other way and has like a light edge it's so weird so sad the post-it ones yes these are the official post-it ones because I'm not opening up the other ones I mean I can like like look at the sides of the other ones but I'm not like taking them out of their plastic sleeves to stamp them they will stay unstamped. But the post-it ones I'm stamping. Okay, so I can set for this first bit because I'm just gonna do some quality checking. <laughs> so tired, started my new job yesterday. <gasps> Did it go well otherwise, other than the tiredness? These are the ones from Vista Print, yes. Official post-it. Due to that, the raid alert sounding like the missile alert here, and more than once I got scared. <laughs> Sometimes there's also like globs of glue on here that I have to rub off. So if I'm doing this part, I can probably zoom in and then zoom out when I'm doing, like laying them on the table or something. <laughs> Cause I lay them all down face down and then stamp them. It's the bumblest of all Baileys. Has Melania been on to you since the game stream? Honestly, yeah, I've been thinking about her every day. <laughs> See, there's sometimes globs of glue and this eraser helps get it off. It's not like affecting the pages. It just looks gross, kind of. Okay, so <laughs> what's the top edge on these ones? Oh, this is the top edge. Okay. It's like with the tulip wreath, it was hard to tell, but then I eventually realized the side that had the most centered pink, that was the top. So this one will be a little trickier. But yeah, I look at the, at the side because some of these have extra papers in them. So I take the extra papers out. And as you can tell from the side, because it looks thick. Once a member, always a member. Look for any glue bits. But also, oh, this one has glue bits on this side. Just a couple of them do. Okay. And then those are all good. They're fine. Ooh, a carrot. Thank you for the 11 months. So again, looking, I don't see any thick white. Slight darkening. 
Okay. This could go really fast if these don't have the same problems as the tulip wreath with the it being too far miscut that it, like it looks okay in the front, but like they must have some kind of black line on the document for registration purposes. Cause that's on one side for some of them. Like you can see it when you turn this to the side, all that dark streaking. So that's what I'm kind of looking for. And then some of them, if they're cut too far the other way, there was white streaking. And I'm like, <laughs> how are they prepping these files? And how come they're cutting so far off from the bleed? Let's not forget the Godskin couple, Trump and Biden. You just missed, just missed battling them. I did battle them. The Godskin duo? Oh, I got him. Trump and Biden. <laughs> I can see those backing cards being like a fancy pattern tile or a border for anything because it's so cute. These are cute. Okay, I see some slight white lining. I'm just gonna double check these. Sometimes it looks like there's something, but there's really not. Yeah, that's fine. And that doesn't, I don't know if that's white or just something else. Yeah, they're good, okay. It's weird having the camera set up for this part, but it makes more sense when I'm laying out the pieces. The flower ones you're holding. Oh, these are sticky notes. I think I thought you meant the backing card for the sticky notes, like these papers. Let me just double check I have shuffle on for this music. Because I think I turned it off once. Yeah, it's not on. I was like, those last two songs sounded a little similar. <laughs> More store prep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I have a backup plan in case this takes, in case this goes by too quickly. But I mean, I think this should be enough to last the stream. But if it's not, I can do some heat pressing or something. <laughs> Although the camera setup wouldn't be ideal. We'll see. Oh yeah, also I gotta go check on my ducky. The plan originally, how come this one's skinnier than the rest? Anyway, <laughs> what was that? I'm too distracted. Oh yeah, yeah, I was doing some embroidery stuff. Oh my god, it's so hard to tell what the top edge is. Wait, this is the top edge. Okay, with the bigger pink straw, but then a the little red. Just dug a little something out of my molars and it tasted like oregano? Okay, whatever that means. This one looks a little skinny too. I almost feel like I gotta count the pages on this one or it just goes as a B grade if it looks skinnier. It's got a couple white pages in it. I'll just pick it's B grade. <sighs> that looks 
fine. This one, there's kind of a few at the back that look like they have a white edge. Let me see how much it's affected. Oh, it's only, it's only a few sheets and it's like imperceptible. It's like the edge of the edge. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That one's good. So there's four of these packs for each design. So that's why I'm like, there might be enough time here to fill the stream. <laughs> what happened to the stream snacks you never ate? I was thinking about them this morning. I was like, hmm, I could eat those today. Okay, is this supposed to be part of this pack? Because this looks like a really thick pack. Should this go back on? Is this a jumbo super big sticky note? Maybe these pages belong to a different one. Got a little glue blob. Have you done product photography yet? No, not yet. I'm still going through everything. I was gonna maybe do it today for the live stream, but like I just don't feel ready for the photog. Plus, like, I started going through these last night, and I was like, I want to keep going through them. Okay, that's the top edge. Da -da -da. Cuts look good. I mean, they're, like, a little crooked on some of them, but each page is different. It's within, technically, within the allowable, even though this one doesn't look that good. That first sheet in particular looks so off center. Let's rip the top sheet off. <laughs> I'll just set that one aside. But I mean, a lot of them are gonna look off center. The question is how much is allowable. Cause that's the thing about small items is like, there's a certain bleed that's on anything you cut and so when it's a small item it's more noticeable when it's off like maybe i shouldn't have done a border Like most of the pages are good, but some of them don't look good. Okay. So I'm just double checking from the top to be like, does it look absurd? And if so, is that like the top couple pages or is it really throughout? So I might set aside some of those, some of the more crooked ones. This one's not as bad. This is something I didn't really have to look for with the tulip wreath because you wouldn't really notice. I was more so looking at the edges to be like, is it F? You know what, I might just say in the listing, like, the border might not be perfectly centered. And you can buy it or you cannot buy it. Even like my notepads, it's not necessarily a perfect border. Although if it goes too far off the beaten track, then I don't necessarily have it as an A grade. That one's pretty extreme. <sighs> I don't know. It's like, where's the cutoff? And how many a member, always a member. are gonna be crooked? Okay, this one's pretty bad.
Not all the way throughout, but... <laughs> Huffle Proud, thank you for the 10 months! No, these are not the Vograce, these are Post-it brand ones. It's like, where do you draw the line? This one looks, at least the top sheet looks worse than the other ones. But they're barely any different than this one. I don't know, man. I'm kind of looking at the green stem. Okay, is this the pile I already went through? I think so. Once a member, always a member. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hey, nude. <laughs> Thanks for the 45 months. Okay, edges look good, but let's just do a quick border check. Because if some of them are too crooked, they're going B grade. Okay, I'm going to look at that one a little closer. I'm looking at like the green stem on one of these to be like, how cut off is the green stem? Do you like it? If you don't, I don't care. <laughs> Me, when I say the borders aren't gonna be perfect, you like it? If you don't, I don't care. Those two are definitely extreme. This one's not as, oh, when we get further in, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Hi, Jackie, or Jack, Jack crazy. <laughs> this one is wiggle wing. Okay, any extra so sheets? Sad. No, I've got a couple boogers though, as I call them. <laughs> this, the glue gloves. Where, these are made in the USA. You wouldn't think so. Damn, Americans suck at making things. Americans suck at manufacturing. <laughs> okay, these ones are simply better. too good. Hello everybody, I see lots of hellos. Have you seen the TikTok for the sound using hello? It's the anime sound one. Wait, wait, is it like, is it like a bunch of voices layered? Cause I saw a TikTok of someone going into their room of collectibles and there are a bunch of Miku, Miku figures and it's like, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> As an American manufacturer, yes, ain't nobody got time to be accurate and nice. But isn't it like the whole made in America thing supposed to be like a point of pride? Turns out they make them nicer overseas.
chicas. Oh, excuse me. Burping. Is the off-centeredness worth the better sticky? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can just do borderless designs going forward, too. Because this one's like a harsh border, which is probably a mistake for something so small. Oh, here we go. This, this one's flat. Like, tulip wreath is a border, but it's not, like, as intense. Dana, thank you for the membership. I, like, set up the camera. I swear I gotta count some of these. They look skinny. Like, this one's clearly skinnier than the other ones. Can you see that? I don't know. I almost gotta count the shades. <laughs> Gustafer, thank you for the membership. Is made in USA now a warning? Probably. I say so. Stem is cut off. Stem is here. I should just write in the listing, you get what you get. The order is gonna be crooked. I mean, I will be writing that because none of these are, well, most of them aren't perfect. But there's just like a certain point where I feel like it would need to be a B grade. But then if you compare like the worst A grade to the best B grade, is there really that much of a difference? Jessica, thank you for the membership. Have you broke it even with your embroidery machine? I haven't done the math in a while. I should. We probably have. Because last time I checked, we were for sure one machine paid off. I'd have to look at my stats of how many sweatshirts I've sold. A bunch of t-shirt blanks just came in today. I could make like an ASMR thing out of this, like, I'm like getting the extra paper out. Ooh. <laughs> we got glue boogers. I probably shouldn't call them that. Hey guys, wanna buy my booger sticky notes? But also, why are they brown? Something's going on at the post-it factory. Oh, I hate this song for the shop update. Time is running out. Cause I've been, I've been preparing not only for this shop update, but for the next one, right? Although I'm now bumping up. I'm now bumping up the um, tote bags to be this shop update. So originally that was for next, now it's not. But I'm also doing like the embroidery digitizing, embroidery tests, trying to get blanks figured out and ordered. Oh, this gets better the further down we get. Ah, oh, that's an A grade. The top sheet was a bit iffy. See, some of these, the top sheet might be good, but then what if you flip further back and it's atrocious? <laughs> okay, that's the top. We got some boogs. We've got a double.
There's another double in there I gotta get. There's another one! make another ASMR video. Hopefully there's no construction outside this time. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, where did that other double go? Oh, it's right here. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. Now let's just double check. The borders are not overly bad. Oh, good, good. Looking good. We already good. like an idiot. That one's like the most perfect one I've seen yet. Ah. Okay, good. Oh my god. Tortured Poets is this month, isn't it? Hype! I'm excited. Sexy boogers. <laughs> Glue booger. Hey. <gasps> I see what they did now. Do you know what this border is? So, notice how one of these does not look like the other one? I know exactly what that is. That's the tulip wreath. Because remember I was like, why is there a black line printed on the edge of those? That must have been a different sticky note. Not one of mine, but... This has a little bit of tulip wreath at the bottom. <laughs> well, that's trippy. Even fanning it like this, it looks tulip wreath. I don't even know if that's a B grade. That might just be, because that's a thick on every single page. That might just be a do not sell. Actually, we're going to auction this one off. <laughs> Premium sticky note. <laughs> that was a double backing. Okay, so we're through one plastic thing. There's four plastic things for each. Oh my god, I need someone handling, handling predictions for me for these. How many of these will be in here? How many extra pieces? The back sides of these are good to write on, but am I just hoarding by keeping them? Once a member, always a member. Oh my god, that alert thing is huge. <laughs> I probably also should move it for this. For this stream, it should be in the other corner. Breaking loose, thank you for the eight months. It should be in the bottom, actually no, top, let's go top. Top right, because there's not really anything there. Okay, so now the standing portion, which is why I have the camera set up like this, but I probably will still be sitting most of the time because I feel like the quality checking stage lasts longer than the stamping stage. So I might just set B grades aside for now. These are like different B grades. What's this? Why is there one sticky note? Oh, this was also a small one. But I guess if small ones are gonna be B grades. So I kind of have my stacks in my way. Hello to all the hellos in chat. I see at least a few. Oh yeah, don't forget to zoom out. Thank you. 
go until I can't see the ring of the ring light. There. <laughs> so you're not gonna see all of these. Some of them are gonna be out of frame, but that's what the full view is for, right? I would, last night when I was doing this, I would start just beside this, but I have the camera swung sideways. So you're more over this section of the table because that's what we see here. I'm trying my best to keep them all upright so the stamp's not upside down, but if you get one with upside down stamps, then so be it. See, I didn't really expect there to be a quality checking phase to this process, but alas. But yeah, I probably will not do a little square border like this again. It's just too prone to miscuts. When it's exactly flat, it's like blinding. how I see him. Okay. I will buy your boogers. How much? They're not mine. Well, I could start harvesting and selling. All right, stamp's still good. Looking extra juicy. Once a member, to last always night. A member. The color was slowly fading by the end of the night, but I did add ink like right at the start. Just a bit of pink, even though it doesn't look pink at all yet. So it's a red ink stamp, and I'm slowly adding pink ink to it <laughs> until it's totally pink. All right. Natasha, thank you for the nine months. And Mrs. Caboose, thank you for the membership. All right, Natasha, your uh, your application's approved. There you go. <laughs> Caboose, your application's approved. Welcome to Canada. <laughs> Welcome to Bay. I'll make my own country. Bay. What's like a suffix for like nation? Bation? <laughs> Cause for town, there's either like town or town or burg. Welcome to Bayburg. <laughs> Me trying to figure out if that's too bright. But when I'm standing and looking down at the monitor, everything looks bright. The things that are extra fun, I've written in red. Everything's in red. Yeah, I know. In honor of employee brotherhood, I present to you a gift. But it <gasps> Kimberly! Oh my god, Kimberly just fast tracked 20! <laughs> 20! Kimberly just fast tracked 20 of your applications. Thank you, Kimberly! Oh my goodness, I'm getting my mouse for this. I need some names for these applications. Dang, Kimberly, thank you. Okay. One for Leah. Crazy about art. <laughs> Once a member, Wendy a member. Ray. Hey. Okay, I'll do that one next because I'm going to forget about it. Fallen Angel, thank you for the 28 months. Welcome to Bayburg. 
Your application's approved. <laughs> Where did we leave off? Wendy Ray. Okay, then there's a Vici fan. Approved. Moon Cow, approved. <laughs> Maddie Kitty, approved. Golly Miss Holly, approved. <laughs> this feels like a TikTok stream. <laughs> Mark, approved. Lore, approved. Maxwell, approved. Samantha, approved. <laughs> Jamie approved. Art of Riz approved. Alina Denisa approved. Alana V approved. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Dunka approved. And Lemon Meringue, approved. Welcome to Bayburg, everyone. Thank you, Kimberly, for fast-tracking those applications. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'm still stamping, huh? No, I'm not stamping a single sticky note. Give me What's more memberships. Member? Don't just kidding. <laughs> fall, the TikTok fall, lives go. Fall. Cat Nary, thank you for the 26 months. Your application's approved. Welcome to Bayburg. How many people live in Bayburg versus people wanted to get in? <laughs> Listen, we keep our borders on lockdown around here. We <laughs> we have a very strict process. <laughs> that would seem a fun job to stamp all day and make money. <laughs> I gotta load up these B grades from last night up into a box. from France. Hello from Bayburg. Crazy about art is me. I logged in with my other account, then switched and heard my name. Lol, thank you for the gifted membership. <laughs> it's like a temporary login. <laughs> like, oops, I'm in the wrong account. Let me just switch. Oh, I got gifted a membership. I'm doing well. Oh, <gasps> Emerald, thank you for the membership. Your application to Bayburg is approved. <laughs> I was like, wait, I gotta do one that's in frame at least. Any word on Diamond Art Club? No, I haven't heard anything. 
Have they done any voting recently? Already new applications, Bayburg is popular. <laughs> Our tax is high in Bayburg. Yeah, how else am I supposed to afford a castle? I'm trying to save up for a castle here. That's how it works. I'm the lord of the land, the lady of the land. Oop, these aren't already stamped. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, we don't actually have enough to fill the space. Oh! Baybird can be where all the bunnies live. I'm gonna put a bit more ink in here. Where's the pink ink? Now, it was really thick when I did it the other day. And it's hard to ink the other side. Definitely got a glob on the side of the flippy part. I can definitely see most of the ink got along the central line. It's like. Once a member, always a member. <gasps> New application. <laughs> Kaylee, thank you for the eight months. Your application to Bayburg is approved. After eight months. Dang, these applications take a long time to be processed, huh? Once a member, annoying, always a member. The brightness looks fine on my camera, but it looks too bright on the video feed. Also a bit of sun coming in right now. <laughs> MCAT, thank you for, this is a different MCAT, not like EMCAT. Thank you for the 10 months. Your application to Bayburg is approved. These are juicy. Excuse me. Brotherhood, I present to you oh my God. a gift. Aroma Tissues gifting five memberships. Thank you, Aroma. That just fast tracked five applications. There's Eladu Design, Elena the Howler, <laughs> Ow! and Enoch and Olga. Approved. Joanna Prizibiska. Approved. And Don Scott, your application's approved. Welcome to Bay Bayburg, everyone. <laughs> I almost said Bay Bill. I was like, wait a minute. That doesn't make sense. Hi, why, by the way. Hi, why, Egip. <laughs> it's funny because the center part does look pink. And then right on the outside. <laughs> so, 
So, scoop these up. It does dry pretty fast. Are we live? I am, hello. <laughs> I want a Bayberg passport stamp. What would it look like? <laughs> This is it. Oh my God, the sun. Fine, I'll close the curtains. <sighs> Just feels a little dungeony today without the curtains open. Especially the top down camera. Dungeon. There's still one partially open. It's kind of draped onto the table. <laughs> Doing it live, oh, we are. The Bayberg flag, uh, it would be the um, handsome Squidward art. That should be two flags, also handsome Bowser. Hot, as a hot, by handsome I mean hot guy. Those actually are two houses. You have to pledge yourself to either the house of Squidward or Bowser, so. Specifically the versions of them that I illustrated. Oh my God! Lilypad just gifted 20 memberships. Thank you so much. That's 20 applications that are being fast tracked. I'll read them out the next time we stamp. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bayberg passports. I claim Bowser. <laughs> House of Bowser. This feels like those TikTok lives where they like write your name down <laughs> if you follow or something. Blocking the view, kind of, kind of. Nice. Got my cold pre-stream coffee. This isn't even a stream coffee. Gotta boost the population, you know. <gasps> Baron Von Grumble. Thanks for the Twitch sub. Welcome to Bayberg. We'll have to stamp your application later. What's going on with this one? What's this? Can it be flattened? All right, lay face down on the table. Take a deep breath. Did I miss the stamping session? Well, we have more, we actually have a lot more to stamp. I just have to get some stuff to stamp. So. I mean, there's a lot to stamp in general, but passport stamping, yeah. Yeah, there's more to come. We had 20 gifted plus another one. I'm just gonna get my chair back and sit down. Huh. 
<laughs> Hello, Von Grumble. Baron Von Grumble of House Bowser or House Squidward? Blue Booger. Thank you for the prime. Welcome to Bayburg. Your application will be processed shortly. Okay, this one just looks a little different from the top, but I think it just got trimmed in a slightly different spot. Like I'm following the pattern and I'm like, that one's different. Just checking that the border's not too crazy. Those are really good. Okay. Good. What's <laughs> a member, hustle, always not the a hassle. <laughs> Charifa, thank you for the 10 months. Wait, when I'm not actively stamping, I guess this could be like the application submission. Thanks for submitting your application to Bayberg. It will be processed shortly. Suggestion, put curled sticky notes under a very heavy stack of books. I know I was thinking the same thing, but I thought I would just try massaging it out first. I think there's a double there. You see it? This is exactly what I'm looking for when I check the sides. I see white lines. So we're going to have to check those. Let's take the one that don't have white lines. Set those aside. Okay. It looks like it kind of starts off gentle and gets worse. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. B grade. A B. So these are probably all Bs then. Some of them don't have that many affected pages. Like this doesn't have that much. But... And these are just gonna get worse. There's like a little bit of white on the sides of the pages. Cause they're miscut. Plus, I guess if they're cut far enough to get a white stripe, then they're probably cut really crooked enough that I don't want to make it an A grade anyway. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Those applications are rejected. So glad you're live on my day off. Hi, Ege. out of the way so that when I go to lay a bunch down then we're good oh, I see one of the next stacks has a bunch of boog on it
tried to tell you on TikTok, but the chat goes by so fast. But I have the opportunity to sell some of my merch to a shop in town as consignment. I'm very excited. That is exciting. <gasps> Stuff in the store. That's one thing that I'm like, maybe I should do more wholesale. I'm like, my things would be in a store. It's just like such an exciting thing. So that, congrats to you. Yeah, these all have white. So they're probably just gonna go straight in the bee. Yeah. This one doesn't, the border doesn't look that badly cut. But, wait, which one? This one. But, if there's a white showing on the edges, yeah. it's not that bad, but. Ugh. I didn't think I'd be having bigger grade sticky notes. Okay, these are looking good, but we got some boog. Your cat. <laughs> Are you on your feet all day for your job? Because when I was, I was wearing Dr. Scholl's shoes. Not inserts, shoes. server. What did I wear at Sears though? I was on my feet all day at Sears. Although we had like the little fa fatigue mats at the till. It wasn't always at the till. This one's sort of got splayed. Wait, that's, the, oh yeah, I just turned it, okay. I was like, this isn't the top edge. No, cause you literally just turned the stack. I see a double in there too. Chef on a deck of cards or something. Yeah, when I got my shoes for my serving job, they gave us something for it, but I can't remember if it was just like an advance, like. Here's a hundred bucks, but we'll be taking it off your paycheck just so you could get some supplies right away or whatever. There was something, which was nice. There's glue. There's glue on my table. I love that. Okay, where were we? Where? This top. This 
is the top. Hey, Miss Tammy. Not the gloober. Glue, I guess it'd be gluger. Booker. Oh, there's a little bit of white on somebody's. It looks very borderline, but we'll, I'll be the judge of that. Okay, so these are unaffected. Are they though? They still look pretty crooked. This one looks good. but that still just means it was cut overall pretty crooked yeah 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 that green stem is cut off sheesh okay those are all bees application rejected heists anymore been trying since the stream started if it started on one platform you can join from both but you won't necessarily know it was started by the way I added a bunch of new sound bites to be redeemed and there's like 18 new ones. We used some of them on the weekend on the gaming stream. Oh but boy, what a loser. That's one of them. Oh boy, what a loser. How come the top ones are sometimes weird? It's like the spine is deformed. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! <laughs> Gotta realign the spine or just say it's a B grade. Actually looking kind of 
good now. It's just the top few sheets. Ooh, she cute. I am such a good person. Hi, no one. When it comes to choosing between A and B grades while sorting, I trust your judgment. <laughs> Brother, uh, what's that? You may see the boogers. What's that, brother? Weird. Da, da, da. What about this guy? Oh yeah, it gets better. Do you like it? If you don't, I don't care. I'm loving the sound bite showcase. I'm joking. I'm joking. Father, help! <sighs> Top sheet's definitely the worst. Give me that. Give me that. <laughs> I love that one. Give me that. Happy, happy birthday to you. Let's look through some of these applications. All night. I've got a life. I can't hang out here all night. I've got a life. Squidward, we already played that one. Until today, I'd never lost a heist. Now Once I lost member, both today. No more gambling for me today. Never lost a heist. Hey, freakish. We already played Babble like an idiot. Wait, redeem my phone. It was in my head before the stream started. Give me that. Give me that. Hi, sketchbook. Yeah, we're good. If the sound bites are anything to go by, Bailey must be house squidward. I got a life. God dang it. Here, I thought I would have chosen Bowser. Well, based on the illustrations. Based on the characters, Squidward all the way. Hooray! Let's watch. Watching this with my cat, Freddy. She'll be four years old on the seventh. Happy birthday, Freddy. Happy, happy birthday to you. Hassan, thank you for the Twitch sub. 
I have so much stuff on my phone. Music, apps, games obviously, a medieval game obviously, obviously a jousting game. I have no problem being on my phone for hours and hours. I love my phone. I even have an alarm on my phone. It's simply too good. Okay, let me see some of these applications. Let's see here. Who has applied for citizenship of Bayburg? Well, we had Lilypad fast track 20 applications on your behalf. So please say thank you to Lilypad. <clears throat> so, the 20 fast track, there's Rio. Approved. Hey Bear approved. Hannah Rika approved. Mike Michaela Gux approved. Cassie Nichols approved. Cheryl Huger approved. Tiffany McCoy approved. Sam Hart approved. Christy Crow approved. Sarah approved. <laughs> Aurora Rose approved. America Stitches approved. Jacqueline Rodriguez approved. <laughs> Sabrina Designs approved. Marnie Arndt approved. Joyce Art approved. Kelly Howard approved. Cameron King approved. Samantha Rothermill approved. The Lily of the Valley approved. Welcome to Bayburg, everyone. Now, those were the ones fast tracked by Lily. Then we had Baron Von Grumble. Your application's approved. Welcome to Bayburg. Adorado, your application to Bayburg's approved. Congratulations. Sharifa, your application is approved. Welcome to Bayburg. And Freakish Stein, your application is approved. Welcome to Bayburg. Hassan, your application is approved. Welcome to Bayburg. This one kind of looks weird. It's like kind of runny looking. <laughs> I guess I'm still stamping. <laughs> Putting the stamp away. Those of you who were not approved, you probably are in the B grade pile. Those applications were rejected. I'm getting an increasingly heavier country accent. <laughs> I was trying to go like bored office lady, but you know, a twinge of twang works too. A tinge, twinge, a hint of twang, a touch of twang. Doing repetitive things like that is my jam. I'd do it for free. <laughs> Free's not gonna put food on the table. Any new sketchbooks coming soon? Not soon, but they're in the works. I ordered them back in January, so we should 
have them by uh, before August, hopefully. Ooh, that's not that far away, though. Ugh. Ugh. April, May, June. Ugh. I, I need them by August, because one of them's a Halloween design. But now I'm kind of scared. <laughs> The official language of Bayberg. Mm. Baelish. Did she just call me B grade? <laughs> Mary says, Meerkat, you B grader. <laughs> just so you know, in Bayberg, that's a slur. B graders. They wish they could be in Bayberg. <laughs> Do you just hate crime, someone? Medieval game, obviously. Obviously a jousting game. <laughs> Gotta learn two languages and be bilingual. Did you get more wood? Oh yeah! Those ones are already 55 stamped. Burgers, 55 fries, 55 tacos, 55 pies, 55 cook. mods here but I act like one anyway because I'm physically incapable of not explaining things to people when they ask <laughs> Y'all I appreciate the helpfulness for an artist it's a lifetime of whimsy Bayberg sounds like if Zoidberg from Futurama had an island full of babes. <laughs> pants are falling down. Bailey's pants are falling down, falling down. Miss Tammy! Thank you so much for submitting your application. Your application's approved. You Welcome to Bayberg. <laughs> Rejected. Far, these look like poker chips.
It's not that kind of stream. Keep your clothes on. I'm gonna buy my way in. <laughs> I've been lurking... Been lurking and waiting for way too long for my green card. Now I'm officially a citizen of Bayburg. <laughs> What's it been like having Christian work for you? Good. You can get so much more done. It's nice doing the embroidery in-house. I can be like, I got too many enamel pins to pack here, Christian. <laughs> in fact, he might be working on more Luna Moths as we speak. Because I gave him a bunch yesterday. <laughs> Although we're almost at the point where he can start embroidering. Oh my god, I gotta actually go check the embroidery machine. Hold on. Hold on. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> So I thought this would be like quality checking and stamping stream, but also me running back and forth to the embroidery machine. But my first embroidery attempt was kind of good. In honor of employee brotherhood, I present to you a gift. Because a lot of the trial and error came with the bunnies. So then like once I realized what didn't work with the bunnies, I could change that up on the ducky design. So, okay, the colors are not correct. Do not judge the colors. I haven't gotten the thread in yet. But it might be coming today actually. I'm kind of scared of some of the edges. Like it better not be poking holes in the sweatshirt, but it is also very stretched right now. Like I can kind of see needle holes. Wow, wow, wow. Oh I my God. Decreased the stitch density on the flowers. Cause like I was scared of possible holes, but it did that anyway and just looks less dense. So I might go for like an in-between for stitch density. I might double check how much overlap there is with the pink here. Up here it, it looks fine, but here the pink's kind of misbehaving. But other than that, it's looking kind of good. And the ducky would go on the blue shirt, not this shirt. Blah. And it's a different pink. This is pretty close to what it actually will look like, but it's gonna be a darker pink. The bunnies, I don't have the brown, so they were stitched green. <laughs> also, I combined some shapes, and so it changed my pull compensation setting. So these two bunnies have a narrower water. face than this I'm one by a little bit. Ducky. Swimming in the water. I am very tiny. I've but since fixed it. Distance, I'm a little ducky. Swimming on the water. <laughs> the eyes kind of pull the surrounding threads a little bit, but that's just how it's got to be. Ooh, the tail looks better at around two. Don't know why. Oh, I guess I did merge the shapes. For the head and the body, because they kind of look like one shape here anyway. Okay. It's too bad the centerpiece for the bow doesn't really show. Like, I almost could make this one shape. Because, like, the middle... It is a satin stitch, though. It was a little more noticeable up here. Here, not so much. Because the matte thread obviously has less dimension than the shiny thread. But also, like, a fill stitch is going to be flatter than a satin stitch. So the, bill, the bows were a fill, but then the center part of the bow was a satin. So the middle part was supposed to be kind of raised. But it doesn't really look it. Okay, well I'm gonna do one more on the bottom. It's taut enough at the bottom. Hopefully. Ugh. Oh, my 
my mouse isn't over here. <laughs> oh yeah, and I lost my freaking. I lost my tablet pen before the stream started. So I had to make the thumbnail with my mouse. I'm gonna check the embroidery room one more time. Like I did take a quick look, but let's double check. Ouch. Oh, oh, oh. it's over by the bobbin. No, that's just a regular pen. Ugh. Ah, I've been bamboozled. Where's my tablet pen? I've looked high and low. I've looked to and fro. And I'm fraught. Well, I can probably just use my mouse for this. It's just clicking around. Okay, I'm just gonna do this off screen because it's just gonna go to the wrong screen. Anyway, okay, so I had this. Okay, it was 50% spacing and then I jumped it to 80. Let's maybe go for an in between like 70. Although the 50 did look, not 70, sorry, 60. We were just at 80? Yeah, 60. I was thinking about how the default's 90. Give me that. Give me that. <laughs> the duckies. You see this? Picasso drew this. He did it by his own. By hand. Because back then, there weren't any computers. He could only do it with his hand and with real paint. Okay, good. And then... I might actually tweak the bow shape. Because where there's overlap, I'm not. Like, I had it so it goes continuous from one part of the bow to the other without trimming, but I might just let it trim so it fills cleaner. So that it can just fill the bow from top to bottom. Oh yeah, and I was gonna adjust the overlap. Oh, the tablet pen would be nice for that. Shit. Where is it? It is down in. Which one of you did this? Which one of you stole my tablet pen? You will be hearing from my Hoyer. Father, oh, yeah. help! <laughs> oh, your father can't save you. Mm -mm. Okay, we're well, gonna change something else. Maybe this flower. The center of the pink flower. No, he owes us favors. Okay. Trial. Save. And then I gotta hit Control S like a thousand times. This is just saved to my Google Drive so that when I go to the other computer, it's there. 
like there's just a shared folder between the computers, you know? So, but sometimes it doesn't register my update. I have to look at like when it was last, up, the file was last updated. And if it's not the right time, then I know it's the old version. If it would have been possible and helped you out, I would have chucked my Apple Pencil through my iPad screen for you to use. Could one of the babies have taken it? Maybe. What if it's like upstairs? That's the one place I haven't checked. Hmm. Huh. Okay. But also I'm taking this into the embroidery room now. Bye. Me. Um, oh, I think I'm gonna need a new bobbin because I already used that one twice and it was already a previously used bobbin. We have like a bucket of bobbins that are partially used because <laughs> it's nice for it to do like a full sweatshirt without stopping because sometimes it can mess up when the bobbin runs out, especially if it's on a detailed area. So we put in a fresh bobbin for every sweatshirt. But then we have all these like two thirds used bobbins. But they're great for the shirts. Okay, hopefully there's enough. It's taut enough down here. Should hopefully be good. Okay. Now, I let's get over to the comb heels, huh? Ouch! The edge of the desk is round, and I gripped it with my hand, and my hand slipped off, so it like pulled my nail back. I didn't appreciate that. Okay, little ducky T, last updated 131. Okay, yay, that's correct. Open with design shop. Display the hoop, but every time I gotta like reselect it. Okay, and now I'm gonna slide the design to the bottom of the hoop because we've already stitched out. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Can't go any lower than that. That should be good. And then I'm going to say send it to the machine. So sending it over to my other software. Center hoop. Okay, good. So now the, the design is displaying at the bottom. Stitch away, my dear. Stitch away. to see if my, my pen is up here, if it even is. Hmm. I don't see it. Is it by the coffee? No. What the hell? What the hell? Oh, it's not in the fridge. There are things in this world that we will never fully understand. Understand. We want we answers. Want answers. to retrace my steps of like oh! I found it oh my god it's like right over here on this little table beside my easel but maybe it rolled free because I lifted up my easel to look under it but from the other side so I wonder if it rolled out from underneath the tote bag during that time I found it Victory howl. Ow. Little, little. Okay.
Okay. The B grades will stamp after. I'm just setting them all aside for now. Okay. Good night, Claire. Lost my iPad pencil once. Use a locator app and it said it was where my couch was. I flipped the couch over because the pen is magnetic. I found it stuck to the metal structure on the bottom. Oh my god, that is so sneaky. Because like if you looked under, you wouldn't see it. <laughs> Flip over your couch. The magnet to the bottom of the couch is cruel. Like how would you normally check there? <laughs> Maybe I should be grateful I have one of the old pens. It's not magnetic. When are you going to fill the circular frames on your gallery wall? <laughs> Listen, maybe someday. <laughs> See, I have two prints that are big enough for them that are not hung up, but I would have to cut them. So one is like the Merida print and one's the, the Zelda print. But I don't know if I can bring myself to cut those, but like they're just sitting in a drawer. I'm like, okay, well, where are you going to hang them? Plus they're kind of like wrinkly from when the basement flooded. So I'm like, just cut them and put them in the oval frames. But I don't know if they're a bit too dark. You know, maybe I should go something lighter. They're both very dark themed, dark color schemed. Stop crying, it won't do any good. And anyway, you have a lot of work to do starting right now. Yeah, I got a lot of work to do. Okay. Uh, this is Straub, okay. <laughs> Strob. Strob. Don't dox yourself. Okay. I love the empty fancy frames. I mean, like it's certainly, it could just be a design choice. Although I hate how you see the wire and the hook, but it kind of looks good. You could also put like just some flowers in the middle of it. Kind of like the dangly ones I have, but something smaller. Possibly front facing, like some fake flowers. But... Can you make a quality print and use those? I suppose if I print off something that's just like just one thing. But I don't know. I don't know if I don't really want to put any of my artwork. <sighs> White banding all the way down that stack. Love that. The banding. Oh God. I think the dark banding on the other one is strawberry. So they printed the strawberries next to the tulips garland. Oh, I'm scared. Okay.
Oh my, all of these have the banding. Oh my God. I'm never doing sticky notes again. The banding means it was miscut because you're seeing some of a different design on the side of it. This one, it's not that perceptible on the actual pages, but it's still like cut really crooked. This one's a really noticeable page. You see that? Light band on the edge of the page. <sighs> yeah, now I know I posted only does a solid color. <laughs> Listen, I learned my lesson on square border. I'm not gonna do that anymore, but still, like, even my other ones. I mean, I've only gone through two designs so far. Cause if there's a lot, I'm gonna like, see if I can get a partial refund on these. Yeah, and they were expensive. No bleed. No, there is a bleed. They just cut outside the bleed. Okay, some of these are turned the other way. Okay, not, not crazy. Okay, those ones. <laughs> I'm <laughs> like, what side are we on? It's because some of them were cut crooked to the other side. And then some of them are cut crooked to this side. See, these don't look cut crooked, though. That's why I kind of got to check them. But I see some banding, so some of the middle pages might be a little more crooked. But as long as you don't really see any line. Like, here there's a few pages that have a line. Which is annoying. Double cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon. So I was like, if it's just some of like the tulip ones that are affected, whatever. Okay. I'm pulling out all the straws. You sure about that? I gotta take some pictures. You sure about that? You sure about that?
<laughs> part of me is like, open them up, take out the bad pages, reassemble the good parts together. <laughs> Like remove because like all the pages that don't have the the line are good. Focus, focus. So like where there's that white line going down it, there's like some on this this edge and there's some in the middle. <laughs> remove the white line ones. <laughs> Worth contacting them if they were just a few okay, but this is too much. Exactly, because, like, like yeah, I can sell B grades, but, like, that's still wasted money, you know, like, where I could have been making more. Because it's, like, they, they print multiple designs next to each other and then do a cut. Like, I'm assuming a double cut, because you'd have to cut away the bleed. Otherwise, your cuts would have to be perfect to not have this design next to it showing. Because this has some tulip garlands showing on it, and the tulip garlands have some strawberries showing on them. So... I'm gonna open up that other bag of strawberries. Okay, wait, maybe position them so the live stream is not visible in the background. I mean, I can turn off the monitor while I snap the picture, I guess. Banding. I'm pulling over some of the previous ones. Some of these were looking crooked but didn't have like the banding on the side so I don't think I can really say anything about that. Because the buns with the banding on the side are the ones that were like really miscut, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna open up that last pack of straws just to see if there's anything to add to this photo. Because I wanna take the photos now so I can set them aside because I gotta open up the other ones too to know just how much, like the other designs need to be opened up too. I still have to do Luna Moth and the sunset ones luckily those like any crookedness wouldn't be as noticeable but if there's like a different design printed along the edge of the sheet you would see that okay I'm also taking a pictures of the boogers That was the actual <laughs> last sheet. It just had a miscut. I'll stick a different one on. I thought that was a spare sheet because it was hanging off. This doesn't even fit. Definitely getting a boogie picture. I'll, I'll twist that one after. This one also has banding. Oh my fucking God. Banded badly. Oh my God. This, has, this is clearly sunset. This is cut against the sunset one. I can tell. Uh, 
yeah. But here's the thing, do I, well, I guess we'll see what they offer, but it's like, are we going reprint or are we going refund? I, th I don't, <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with them all if I got a reprint. Cause like, I would not have them in time for the shop update. So I would have to sell the B grades, which I should do anyway, instead of just like throwing them out. So maybe I'll just ask for a refund. Cause like, what am I gonna do with a bunch more? Oh my God, this is even worse than the tulip wreath. This is atrocious. I am not even gonna get these all in one photo. Oh my God. Okay, I gotta turn the monitor off for a second. Okay, there's Straub. <laughs> now I'm like, am I even doing this? What am I doing? Where am I putting these? I'm just gonna set these off to the side because I'm gonna open up all the different ones to see what kind of B grade ratio we got. I should take pictures of the tulips. They're sitting out on the edge of the table. Facing the wrong way. There we go. Oh, these two are this way. So sad. Okay, I was gonna take some close-ups of the actual pages too. To show that it's actually imprinted on the front side of the page. This one just has a whole white edge. <laughs> it's completely miscut. Doorbell just rang. BRB. That's Vista Brenton. They were watching the stream. <laughs> I wonder if that's my thread. Boxes. Oh, oh, yeah. There should be some boxes and sleeves for order packing. Okay. Oh, were you passing that to me?
Honestly, these Vogue Grace sticky notes are looking kind of good. <laughs> the Vogue Grace sticky notes are looking kind of good. Compared to the post-it ones. These ones I have upside down. Hold on. <laughs> I should probably flip them to be designed side up. To like show which one it is, you know. I can't hang out here all night. I've got a life. Some of these are the wrong way. This is so annoying. I have so much stuff on my phone. Music, apps, games, obviously, a medieval game, obviously, obviously a jousting game. I have no problem being on my phone for hours and hours. I love my phone. I even have an alarm on my phone. Okay. Overzoomed in. Okay. <laughs> my cereal. <laughs> Oh, you couldn't even see. Good. Okay, let's set those aside. Applications to Bayberg are not currently being accepted. We're suspending our acceptance of applications <laughs> due to unforeseen circumstances. I bet you dollars to donuts. They're gonna see the pictures and not see anything wrong. Ugh. Oh yeah, and I gotta look for the ones with like the really bad, like one where I can take a picture of it showing through on the front. So for Straub, let's see. Take a photo of this. scratch on my thumb it looks like gross okay like a white scratch <laughs> I gotta take it from this angle so you can at least see just switch hands so if I take it from the other side you just see the sides of the papers I'm trying to show that the top of the Wait, the top one's even like that. I didn't even have to hold it up like that. Hold on.
Why does it look like that? Do I have like a weird filter on this? to the T this Friday's vlog now. <laughs> I don't even know if I'll have like, a response from them by then though. I guess it depends if I include some of tomorrow in the vlog. But I'm mostly going to be editing because I haven't been editing throughout the week because I've just been like going hard on store prep every day. Okay. We have the sunset one next. Yeah, what's nice is a design like this, it doesn't matter if the border's crooked, but as long as you're not, like they're so crooked that you see some of a different design on the edge. Like a lot of the strawberries had some of the sunset design showing on the edge. Like that's a problem. Because there's a certain allowance. It can be cut technically anywhere in the bleed, but they're cutting outside the bleed. Call them down. I'm gonna email so I can send the pictures. Oh, here's a good picture of the boogers. Look at these boogs. Wait, it's all shiny. <laughs> it's got a bunch of small boogs. These aren't even made by Vistaprint. They're, they outsource them to Sticky Note, like a Sticky Note factory in the US. Cause like a lot of the Vistaprint stuff, I mean like there's different Vistaprint places that make your stuff. Like they're not all made in the same warehouse, you know? But these in particular came from out of country. The Americans rubbed their boogers all over my Sticky Notes. Edges look good in terms of cut for those. Cuts good, but I got hella boogies to try to get off of there. the extra papers at this point. I'm kind of just looking because I need to know what to send in the photos. Thank God that batch of sunset looks good because that's probably going to be the most popular design. Freedom boogers.
Is Post-it and 3M the same company? Because it doesn't say 3M anywhere on here. It just says Post-it. Although these actually look fine when there's white banding. I'm not seeing actual like white edge to the paper. Oh, that one has some. Oh, that makes sense. It's got a harsher <laughs> looking edge. So this one's probably the same. I know for damn well. Yeah, it's a little less like noticeable than like when the strawberry has a black just edge. Do you not know? take showers because they're just inferior and completely nasty. The reason they might fight me on this is because it was like. It was a big order. It was like a $4,000 order. <laughs> Mild banding, but those should be fine. Mm, that one's not. Once a member, always a member. Okay, those seem mostly good, but there's a lot of boogie to get rid of. Okay, again, we're gonna set those aside for now. Once a member, always a member. Thank you for the nine months. And Sharon will thank you for the 10 months. Hi, Fluffy. Issues with my 3D printer again. Can somebody buy me a new one? Pretty please. That's girly eyelashes. I wonder if you had them printed directly from Post-it, they'd be a bit better. I think they are, because they didn't come from Vistaprint. I think they came from the Post-it factory. doesn't really say it says custom print center so it could be some random place in the US that prints post-its because it yeah it didn't come from like my usual usually my Vistaprint orders come from within Canada 
but these ones came from the US specifically. Who's hyped for the eclipse Monday? <laughs> Not me, I'm on the wrong side of the continent. <laughs> I'll just see a picture on the internet and be like, yep, that's an eclipse. <laughs> Boogs. Doorbell again. I know Christian will get the doorbell. Like, I'm just curious if my thread's coming today. We just got the t-shirts in. Oh yeah, we have the ducky stitching out. Hello. Is it thread? No. Names on it. Oh, those are your shelves. I was gonna say, what's like something long like that? Those are your bookshelves. Getting a stair workout. <laughs> yeah, that's my life. Whoa! Boogie mania. Let's get a picture of that. At least the cuts look okay for the majority of the sunsets. But they're very booger heavy. Never thought about doing some bookish designs. Yeah. I got loads of ideas. Oh my god, I can literally see some strawberry design on one of these. This is, from the side, this is literally the strawberry. <laughs> Let's get a close-up of that. How many photos can I even attach to an email? I shouldn't take that in front of like the nice side of a stack. Take it in front of like a gross stack. <laughs>
Okay. Oh, they are. Look at that. I saw six. These ones have a dark edge. I'll look through them after. Some of them look not so bad, but we'll just start a B grade pile for me to inspect. Good cuts, but boogers. These are bad cuts. They got the dark lines on them. They got some strawberry on them. See you in the morning, boys! I can't hang out here all night. I got a light. <laughs> Sad violini. Stripes. We have white banding from whatever design was on the other side of this. Those ones are bad. These ones, I would have to kind of look. It looks fine. I can just see like a little bit of a white when seen from the side, but then when you see the page from the front, you don't see it. So these weren't miscut as badly, but the boog situation is out of control. Okay, so we got Luna Moth to check out. I'm running out of space. First glance is good, but we don't see all the edges. I sure glad he put the leaf in the table now. <laughs> yeah, so much space. This kind of has a boog, but it just looks dark purple. Like it just looks like extra glue. It doesn't look like brown. These ones did ship separately. So maybe they were made a different day. Maybe they were made better. Also of all the ones I've checked already, I haven't seen any with like a purple edge. So that is a good sign. Cause like on the strawberries, I could see some sunset. So I was like, 
some of the sunset ones might be messed up. And I could also see some of the tulip wreath. Like, do I ever order these again? <laughs> or do I just not? You know? Okay, those are good. There's some light at the end of the tunnel, I guess. Are we always this zoomed in? Like, how did this camera get this zoomed in? I kept thinking of why it felt so weird. I was like, why am I perpetually out of frame? I'm ready to march up to whoever printed these and bark at them. I'm loud, yes, but I'm not violent, so no bites are happening. No bites? No. Father, I crave violence. Wow, the Luna Moths are actually good. And they're clean. Other than like a few dark glue spots, but it's like minimal and like I said, it looks purple. Doesn't look like gross boogers. If there's nothing on the table, the second camera view makes it look like you have a fence standing in front of your big camera. Okay, so far so good on the Luna Mops. of the Luna Moth ones. <laughs> I'm seeing some banding on some of these now. This edge has banding, some white banding. white is white's gonna show up a lot on the dark purple okay, that one's good there are the better ones on the top and then it gets worse as you go down okay so we have like a sliver of white area but like you can see it on a few sheets this one looks horrible Oops, it's ripping apart.
This one's good except like the final two pages, but whatever. Just set them together. I'll kind of deal with them later. There's more white. <laughs> you can clearly see <laughs> which ones have the banding on here. sticky notes are in each pad 50 like one white sheet. One singular. You feel like summer days to me, wanton sun rain. I hope that we are meant to be. Once a member, always a member. They are they have base up. A what? <laughs> Obey, 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 sip. Bayleaf, thank you for the 25 months. Whoa! Lavender pain? That's what I'm feeling right now. Sheesh! That should be the picture. At a point where I'm just collecting post it notes, so this works out perfectly. enough for a pick. I gotta stack them all the same way. Like a white edge showing. Because some are white on the left, some are white on the right.
I pulled these two out because they didn't look like they had a white on them. Okay, good. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. <laughs> Is this the last box? Yeah, okay. Good. The pads are in so high, I'm struggling to see chat. That's too damn bad, Spitz. Okay. A couple with white edges here. The rest look good. send the designs with bleed yeah you have to have a bleed These are the p official post-it ones. Okay, those ones are safe. Once a member, always a member. Kind of borderline. Let's see. Do you see white on the front? Yes, we do. She wolf, thank you for the ten months. Okay, so I've got my photos. I gotta write the email. Okay. Oh, which I'd rather do with the computer, but I'm gonna have to send these photos over. I mean, that's fine. I'll just. I've got a folder a called member, like. A member. Picks from phone or something. It's like a folder on my desktop computer. Clips from phone. Yeah, we'll add them there. I don't think I can attach them all to an email, but I'll do what I can. the computer ah! Angie thank you for the nine months I'm thirsty I'm thirsty I'm like sweating here running up and down the stairs hauling all these boxes I'm getting warm hmm. 
still my pre-stream coffee in here. Those colors are cute on the table. Okay, I gotta find like my order number and stuff. Uh... <laughs> what email address do I use? <laughs> it's not my main one, because it got banned. Maybe I should just go to the website, see what email auto fills. <laughs> Sign in. Hello, Bailey. Oh, well, what's my email? <laughs> Account. Maybe there's a way to like see your order and then request help. Order details. Oh, it's that email. There's no option to like submit something about your order there. So help is here. Ugh. Sorry, it showed a phone number. So I went, oh, there we go. Email. Cause if I call them, they're going to be like, well, email us cause for the photos. Existing order, printing quality. Here we go. It says phone number optional. I'm putting it in. <laughs> I mean, usually I just like email correspondence. I was debating just leaving that blank, but like, Sometimes, like, especially if they're gonna fight you on something, it's like nice to just be like, to right away be like, well, no, I think because of this, it should be. Attach up to three files. <laughs> Maybe I should just send a regular email. Maximum size of each is six megs. Okay, I'm just. Well, let's see if this works. Otherwise, I'll just send a regular email. Uh, not through their email portal. Hmm, how am I gonna choose just three? <laughs> oh my God, it's making me go one at a time. Did I already do that one? Oh wait, I did 09. Okay, I did that one. Oh okay, yeah, do the booger. Oogity boogity. Wait, is that a booger pick? Sorry, I'm just seeing like small thumbnails. Let me look at it on my phone again. See which picture's which. Oh yeah, that's oogity boogity. All right, that's nasty.
describe the boogers. Okay. of characters fuck maybe i should just send a regular email i'm sending a regular email i can attach more pictures and i was almost done writing i was like on my last sentence <laughs> being like polite i'm not <laughs> if you want something to be done if you want them to be helpful um be nice i'm just explaining the issue is all and i'm requesting a 50 percent refund since about 50 percent of them are affected Now the question is, will they show me their email? Maybe they won't. Like, what is the email? When you click send my email, yeah. Maybe they just gotta shorten this a little bit. Okay, we're sending it. Send my email. Ah! Drop the sheet. Okay. I might go grab some of my uh, veggies. I prepped some veggies for my weekend stream and then I never ate them. I really didn't eat a whole lot during that stream. Uh, but I'm gonna go get some. I did already eat some of them. I've since eaten some of them. And yeah, I'm gonna go get those. Email sent. <laughs> Aggressive typing sounds. I just have a loud keyboard. <laughs> Luckily, most of the Luna Moths are good, but like conversely, most of the strawberries are bad. So, yeah, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. So if anyone just got here, a lot of these are miscut so badly that they're cut outside the bleed and you can see other images on the side of the pages. The sunsets are also probably not bad, but there's so much booger on the sunset. Like it's gonna be a pain in the ass getting that off. And it doesn't come off completely. Like it's glue residue and then it's not actual boogers, but like it kind of stains it a little bit. So like I can rub at it with an eraser to try to get it off, but then like there's a little bit of staining still. And it's just on the edges. Like it won't really affect the actual sticky note, you know, but it's like, it's gross. It's gross. 
Can you show? Yeah, I have been, but I'll show again. Okay. So let's do some close-ups here. So here's an example of boogers. <laughs> here's, a, here's an example of boogers. It's like a bit bright. This one is like particularly stringy looking compared to some of them. So I can kind of get it off with an eraser and then like sometimes you can see like these dark edges are where a different design, like all the streaking is where a different design got printed onto it. So some of them that have like barely streaking, when you look at the sheets, they look fine from the front. So those ones are salvageable, but other ones are not. And it's so bad. Like so many of the strawberries were affected by this. Where it's just like, like how you can see it's like, it should be kind of like a, mostly the same all down the edge, but you can see all these streaks. Like I can see some of the sunsets coming through. Technically the dark streaks are what it's supposed to be because this is dark here, but wherever you see like a light streak, that's where some of the sunset design is showing. The edge of the sunset is showing on the, on there. And it's kind of the same with like, some of them on the edge, you see a bit of tulip. So clearly they must've gone like tulip straw sunset or something because the strawberry has some of both. But then also, because these also have some dark where you see some strawberry, but then they also have some light where you just see like white. So it could have been butted up against someone else's design or something because none of mine are white background. Same with Luna Moth, one edge. The Luna Moths have white, some white edges as if they were cut up against someone's white edged sticky notes. So there's gonna be a lot of B grades, at least for the miscut ones. I'm gonna try my best to get the boogies off. And so like, what's up with that? Like somehow the Vograce ones turned out nice. <laughs> Maybe they don't, the adhesive is not as good as these ones. Cause these also just peel off nicely. Like the sheets come off easy. So you're not like creasing, you're not curling the sheet when you pull a sheet off. The Vograce ones are kind of like harder to peel off. So it kind of curls the edge of the paper. But you, maybe those Vograce ones aren't so bad. Especially cause like the Vograce ones, I got to double check all the pricing, but They would be like two or three bucks. I gotta double check how much they cost me with shipping and everything and do the math. But like, they cost me less than a dollar each, whereas these are costing me $2 each. So, <laughs> these are costing me as much as I would sell the other ones for. Well, it's costing me two Canadian each plus tax and stuff. So technically more, but whatever. So the posted ones aren't that much better because of the other quality issues. Yeah. Cause at least the Vograce ones printed nicely and they're cut straight. They look good. Bailey loves boogers though. <laughs> Would you be able to trim ones that aren't as affected. I don't have like a, a heavy duty trimmer that can trim a block of paper. Cause that would be one day, one way to kind of fix them. They'd be a little narrower, but it would help even it out. But I don't have any kind of like sheet block trimmer. Okay, I'm gonna get my veggies. I'm gonna pee. So I'm just leave my mic down here and I'll BRB.
my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around so little and we keep track of time being so serious idiots faking it will matter keep me company downtown before the clock runs out sun is shining but the rain is welcome to friends are nearby don't need another view time is not on my mind but then it's you oh i love it when the love comes around and then i remember all things must pass but i'm not gonna wake up wake up I'm not going to worry Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind, but then it's you Oh, I love it when the love comes around And then I remember All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up Fingers crossed to give you money back or replacements. Yeah, I requested money back because like, what am I gonna do with another 500 sticky notes? I requested 50% back. We'll see what they say. What is the odds the average user me would notice as much as you? I mean, like, because the messed up ones, there might be some good sheets, but then as you get down, you're going to notice there's, like, a white edge on your sheet. Or something like that, you know, like. But it's not every sheet in the pad. But, like, the thing is that, like, I'm not going to be able to sell these cheap. So if I'm going to be spending, like, $4 or 450 USD on a sticky notepad, I would be kind of upset if, like, even five of the pages were messed up. I mean, I wouldn't say anything me personally, but like, <laughs> I would feel guilty sending someone that. Like, if it was the Vogue Race ones, whatever, they'd be cheap anyway, but like, these ones are just so pricey, you know? But look. So these are what I made the other day. Except I made these on Friday, so they're getting a little dried up. <laughs> So we got cuke, carrot and celery. And then we got some cheese and walnuts. After going to Palm Springs, I got on that, I've been on a walnut kick. Those California walnuts, man. I usually don't even eat nuts. Where's the dip? We don't need dip in these parts. Once a member, always a member. Alexandria, thank you for the 10 months. No, I didn't beat, beat Melania.
I had to move on. I was like, I'm too drunk for this. <laughs> Well, I was saying stupid things like, oh, if I don't make it to phase two, I'm gonna take a shot. And then I had my worst run yet. So of course I didn't make it to phase two, take a shot, stuff like that. And there's this one area where I was like, there's a message on the ground and I was like, if this says no item ahead, I'm taking the shot. And so I read it, it says no item ahead. I was like, well, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> I gave up waiting for Fall Guys. I know, I still feel like I need to stream some Fall Guys. <laughs> okay, stuff like this is so funny. It looks like I have one strawberry notepad amongst the sunset notepads. But it's not a strawberry notepad. It's a sunset notepad with a strawberry top. It's too bad I can only attach three photos to that. Bork, bork, bork! Who are we fighting today? Uh, we're returning for round two with Vistaprint. Okay, did I just not notice the striping on these? Why were these paired with these ones? I don't know. The B grades were supposed to be set off to the side. Maybe there was just more than I realized before because this stack is a B grade stack. Or, wait, no, it wasn't. These are all messed up, but there's glue. Oh, cause I grabbed some to show the gunks and stuff and I think I kind of messed up my piles, but. We're beefing with Post-It and Vistaprim. About to get my second Vistaprint account banned. To be fair, they banned the first one cause someone hacked into my account and was messing with it. And I don't think they believed I was me when I called in and they just didn't want to deal with it and they just banned the account. To be fair, someone got into my account because they impersonated me because Vistaprint support told me this. The first person I talked to told me this, which they probably shouldn't have, but they said that they let someone into my account because they claimed they forgot their password. So they issued them a temporary password to my account and then ordered stuff and like, took my Vista print designs to make like their own cards and stuff. <laughs> so stupid. Anyway, so I got banned because of that, but I just use a different email now. Ordered fabric paints to finally start painting my heiress to her jacket. <laughs> Can I have your ticket? Thanks. Wait, what do you mean you're giving me your ticket to Arister? Thank you. Or, or were you gonna go with a friend? Tell your friend you, she's, she or he, they are not allowed to go and that you're taking me instead. Thanks. <laughs> That's some top tier security. <laughs> Luckily it is just like a printer. So I guess I don't really need top tier security, but Do the gaming streams not get a VOD on Twitch because I can't find it? They do. Mm. It should automatically save for 60 days and then I highlight them to last forever. Are you in the past broadcast section? <laughs> so desperate. <laughs> for the ticks, yeah. Give a new password to anyone who asks why I make that stupid oath anyway, Vistaprint or something. Cat, 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 there's a cat in my backyard! Who's <laughs> actually at the neighbor's yard? Oh, Pippi. Okay, mute that. I forgot that if I talked, it would be 
audible in the video. He was walking along our fence and then by the time I got recording, it's in the neighbor's yard. This is the same cat I saw the other day. I never see cats out back, but now I've seen this cat twice. Let's steal it. I sometimes catch cats on our front camera in the middle of the night. But that's about it. Wait. How recent was that last delivery? It said there was an alert from like 10 minutes ago. <gasps> oh no, those are, no, that's not the shelves. That's something else. So many deliveries, holy might. <laughs> I'm getting sweaty. Now, Christian said he ordered some stuff under my name, so I don't know if this is actually for me. I guess it's for both of us. Oh yeah, it's the sifters. We don't have sifters. It's a little three pack. <laughs> Woohoo! It's for both of us. We have sifters! Okay, now I'm still waiting on my thread, but I don't know if that's actually coming today. Because <sighs> it was like a Purolator Express one day, but if it's being sent out today, then I would get it tomorrow. <sighs> Speaking of thread, let me check the embroidery machine. It's been chaos for this shop update. I'm working on two shop updates simultaneously. Cute. Honestly, ducky design might be good to go. That was a lot quicker to figure out than the bunnies, but that's because I just like learned from the bunnies because it's my first time stitching on t-shirts. So I tested with the bunnies first, but we don't have the thread yet. So I'm just using an existing thread. So it's gonna actually look a little different, but three tests. Yeah, this looks pretty good. It only needed some minor tweaks. It says focus cancel on my screen and I'm like, how do I make that go away? <laughs> so those colors aren't right, but that's the ducky. Why did it say Once manual? Once a member, always a member. Rude. It's doing what my side camera's been doing. <laughs> Oop, knock it stuff over. <sighs> yeah, I think that's good. To go although I like to see it stitched in the proper colors but it won't be that different it's like darker pink and then the wing color and stuff will be kind of like a medium brown the same brown that the bunnies are gonna be won't be dark like that this is a dark green actually <laughs> it looks black but it's green it's the same green as the strawberries CEO thank you for the 11 months. OMG. What, just sifting? Drugs. No, I don't know. <laughs> I know Christian wants to sift his bourbon because a cork fell in it. 
Like there's cork pieces in it. But there have been times where we're cooking and we could really use a sifter. We just have colanders, so we need like a finer one. Will any designs go on black blanks? My emo heart desires the void. I'm saving that for Christmas. Black is just not very summery. That was a Christmas. Halloween. I'm doing black for Halloween, so I'm not gonna do black for right now. But I don't wanna make them like overly Halloween-y. Some, I mean, I don't know, I haven't designed everything yet, but I want some stuff to be like kind of good for year round, at least for the clothing. So we'll see. Certain things might be more Halloween focused. Some might just be more kind of like autumn slash whatever. Ah, the old cork in the bottle, yeah. <laughs> but I do want some darker color stuff because I always get paranoid I'm gonna spill on my clothes. So like, I will not cook in my sweaters. I will not do the dishes in my sweaters. And a lot of times I eat, I take them off, depending on what I'm eating. Sometimes I just fold up the bottom half over my chest. But I'm like, <laughs> always paranoid of soiling my sweaters. I probably just gotta get over it. Black is an all year round color. Yeah, but I'm not gonna do like a black launch for my summer launch and then immediately a black launch for Halloween. Like that's too much. Also, I was thinking, I, I've said this before, but I don't know if I'll ever do it, but it'd be neat. Like I have a once a year event, maybe where there's like, it's like a get it on black event where all my pre previous designs are available or like a certain selection, maybe like that year's designs are available for purchase on black, like kind of pre-order, like they'd have to be made to order, but I'd be like, this is your chance to get it on black. I hear Calgary's getting more snow soon. Yeah. It's been snowing so much and then it finally has like mostly melted, but it's forecast to snow again. I don't actually mind the snow that much. I'm just excited for everything to turn green again. I want my view back. Although it's nice right now where like, the other day the ice was slightly melting on the pond. So it looked like water, it was reflective, but it was just like the top layer. So there were seagulls standing on the ice, but it looks like they're standing on water. And I was like, it's an Easter miracle. Jesus bird. Luna Moth on black, gorgeous. Yeah, that one's on black. For 4XL and 5XL. <laughs> Sorry for the chewing. I want some cheese. I'm gonna get back to these in a sec. Snack break, snack break. I have some new embroidery hoops coming too for the bunnies. Like I probably could make do with this this hoop, but like, I feel like I need more stabilization on it. Like I'm getting a small hoop that basically perfectly fits the bunny design. But the thing is though, any hoop I get, I need four of it. And I've only ordered two of them. It will see. Cause I was thinking like, oh, one machine could use these hoops running Ducky and then the other machine could be using those smaller hoops running the bunny. But the hooping station to hoop the shirts is can only be set up for one size at a time. So that's a problem. I also only have two of this hoop. So I might be ordering two of these hoops and two of the smaller hoops. And these hoops are like $220 each. So I was like, I should just make do with these, but I just feel like the bunnies need a little more. This hoop's just so big for the bunnies, even for the ducky, cause like we're only stitching up here and then there's nothing down here, but they just don't really make small rectangles for hoops. They're mostly square or like huge rectangles. Second hooping station, no, we don't have room for that. And the hooping station, I don't even remember how much that costs, but it's probably a lot. I 
There's not enough counter space in there for him to work and have two hooping stations set up. Just be better off getting more hoops. Alternatively, he just doesn't have the next thing pre-hooped, but that would be annoying. Because you want two hoops per machine. Because like while one thing is on the machine being sewn, you're preparing the next shirt. You know? You're getting the next one hooped. But, I don't know. Maybe it'll just be like, Christian, you're gonna have to hoop it after. It looks like the last Twitch broadcast that is saved is a VOD from a month ago. Maybe Twitch is screwing up somehow. Maybe it got deleted, although I never got any notification. BJ. No, go dashboard. Dashboard. Content. Video producer. Interesting, they all say unpublished. Maybe they don't publish by default. There we go. That's very weird. Why are they like unpublished by default? Can I change that somewhere? That never used to be a thing. Oh, the thumbnail for Man of Medan shows Kiki on my shoulder, baby. Thanks for bringing that up so I could look into that. Hee <laughs> hee, okay, should be visible now. I gotta highlight them soon though. I've got like a month's worth of videos that are unhighlighted because I just highlight the whole thing so that it stays beyond the two month mark. What song is that? I don't know. Periwinkle with cherries. Huh. Too close to Luna Moth. Well, it's not like Periwinkle. Can I even get Periwinkle clothing? Duckies. I like the colors of today's stream, especially right now. The orange with the purple, and then back here we got the pink, the purple, the sunset colors. So cute. Okay, I think I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna eat one celery, a couple walnuts. They weren't carrying on with the notepads. You can see the vods now, woo! Boom. Okay, Christian responded to the cat snap I sent. He said, Baby. Mm. 
Wait, let me check the track. Oh no, oh no, the hoops are coming tomorrow. I've already checked. What was I thinking might come today? The thread. Have I even gotten... Oh, now I have. Okay, I was gonna say, has that even reshipped yet? I just got the notification at 1.30. So then it's probably coming tomorrow. Which is fine, I don't need it today. So yeah, I ordered Fred from Madeira with a US address. <laughs> It's not cheap to forward it to myself. I bet if I did use my sister, it would be cheaper, but I would be sending her like every month. I mean like, hey, can you mail this for me? Because the reshipper will not use USPS. It has to go courier. I snorted and it made me inhale celery. Oh, I'm seeing stars. <coughs> YouTuber dies on stream. That's gonna give me a residual cough for the rest of the stream. <clears throat> All the emotes. <clears throat> Stream's over, y'all. Vista Prince, like, haha, we don't have to give Father her the health. refund now. <laughs> Father help. Vista printed that so they wouldn't have to refund me. They're like, oh, she's dead. <laughs> there, I was chewing thoroughly with no talking and no snorting. Nine one one's been called. What's your address? <laughs> no. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Turns out walnuts are the best. Okay. So. <clears throat> We got a lot of stamping to do. <laughs> this looks so cute with triple ducky. Like what if I cut this and make like a little pillow? Although do I have enough fabric for the backside? Maybe with a seam. Cause I've stitched on both sides of this shirt. There's a whole bunch of bunnies on the other side. They're green, yes, I don't have the thread yet. And there's some bunny on this side too. Some bunny. What's interesting is like the bunny design takes almost twice as long to stitch than the ducky. It doesn't look like it's twice as big or anything, but there's twice as many stitches and there's more trims. Almost twice as many stitches. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> Breathe. Breathe. Sure will sue the stress of the sticky notes killed my wife. I'm just tuned in, feel like I've missed something important. I choked, but I'm alive. I choked on celery. <clears throat> like an inhaling choke, not like a blocked airway choke. Ugh, okay. <laughs> Why are you eating with tweezers? To keep my fingies clean. I do this when I'm gaming too. They're called snack sticks. You're technically supposed to wear them like this because then you have full use of your fingers still. But I feel like it gets kind of hard to spread them because they kind of like close over time and they sort of scratch a little bit over time. 
Because <clears throat> that way you could be like, I'm on my phone. I love being on my phone. So then you can go like this. But usually I, I set them down, so I just like hold them like little chops, like little baby chopsticks. Vegetation inhalation. <laughs> My nails are like pistachios. <laughs> mm. Okay, I gotta eat these nuts. I'm nuts for walnuts. Okay, don't choke. Um, these I just got, like, I think the store is called, like, Snack Sticks or something. It did take, like, a month and a half to get to me, but worth it. You can probably find some on Amazon. Mm. It looks like a brain. Or rotisserie chicken. <laughs> the brain of a rotisserie chicken. That's what their brains look like when they're rotisseried. Nine one one has been called. What's your Vista print password? I'm a in the water. I'm a little ducky. I'm in the water. I am very tiny. Far from in the distance. I'm a little ducky. Swimming in the water. Okay, I should shut off the embroidery machine and the computer in here. Changes and no. No. <coughs> Sorry, residual choking. And shut down computer. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh my god, the closet is loaded with t shirt blanks. The way they were delivered this morning. It was just a wall of boxes when you open the front door. <laughs> like a box fort wall. With a tiny way around, of course. You know, case of emergency. Okay, so how am I supposed to lay these out? I guess I got a degunk. Maybe let's just deal with the Ludamoth since they're the ones that are in the best shape. They'll kind of be quicker to go through. Oh, oh, I was like, oh, Vista Print. <laughs> it's just an automated response saying they got my message. Okay. Okay. <gasps> my vet clinic sent me an email. Monthly practice news, pet of the month and birthdays. Pet of the month. It better be Kiki Midna. Although I don't think they would just randomly pick a pet. <laughs> they probably do like submissions or like special cases. Ooh, there's Pedro, a little chihuahua. Just over one year old, his family discovered after bringing him home that he is deaf. That doesn't stop this little cutie. His family, particularly his human sister, loves him fiercely and gives him all the support and care he needs. He returns the favor by being a great little friend at home and he even is a master 
on their driveway obstacle course. We love you, Pedro. Our second special pet this month is Phoenix, which is a cat based on the photos. Phoenix survived a fire, but lost parts of his ears to burns. Okay, this is too sad to read. And it damaged his feet quite severely. When his paws healed, they were still significantly painful as the damage affected his joints. Okay, this is not the kind of vibe I wanted in my live streams. Ah, they amputated the toes to remove the painful digits. His loving family are looking forward to providing a safe, cozy, and loving home for him from now on. Like the mythical bird, this cat is truly rising from the ashes of tragedy to be reborn more magnificent than ever. So did they, was it someone else's pet before the fire? Cause it's named Phoenix and like, you know, rising from the ashes. So like, did the owners give him up after he was injured? I don't like this. This is Pedro in the blankie. And this is Phoenix also in a blankie. Boop, boop. Go adopt them. No, they're, they're already people's pets. This is from my vet clinic. Kiki and Midna are never going to make this email. They need a sad sob story, you know. It's just like reality TV. You need a little sob story to make it. <laughs> One time we forgot to give them their treats. This was like four days ago. <laughs> Poor babies. But they didn't even harass me for the treats or anything. So maybe they should have spoken up. If you see something, say something. What t-shirts are the same colors for plus size and the small size? So the comfort colors goes up to 4XL. And so I don't know if I'm doing a separate 5XL because I can't get any of the colors I want. They're all out of stock. So <laughs> now I'm kind of torn. Like, do I do a separate color just for 5XL? And see what I can find, even if it doesn't really match well. Like, I don't want to do black again. But it's like, you're always going to find like black, white, and gray in stock. It's like, or like a bright red or like royal blue and I'm like ew <laughs> cuz there's actually a close blue with gildan but it's out of stock everywhere I look and then I was like well if I do this blue instead oh no no they don't have that either okay <clears throat> this month's pets is Kiki and Midna. They went hungry because Vista Print screwed up sticky notes and their mom couldn't make enough money. <laughs> I desperately want to get my hands on a little of my sweatshirt. It just never works out with my finances. Haha, <laughs> by the time I have the money, it's all sold out. Well, there's quite a few right now, so hopefully you'll get your chance. Although I can't guarantee because there is a Ludomoth shop update coming, so it's possible more will sell. I mean, I'm sure more will sell. The question is how many, because right now we have a ton, but. Yeah, we'll see. The mummy passed away <laughs> on a YouTube live after Vistaprint poisoned her celery, causing her to choke to death. <laughs> I'm still recovering. <clears throat> you hear these throat clears, Vista <laughs> Okay, those are good. So yeah, these, everything in the good pile should still be good. I'm just kind of looking for boogs, but they don't really have boogers like the other ones do. Like I said, it's just kind of like a dark glue spot. I mean, the other one's also glue, but it at least looks purple like the notepads. It's not brown. It almost just looks like a little water spot or something, but it's just a bit of glue. Wait for it. Unless it's gonna stop focusing. Go! It still says focus cancel on the screen and also says manual focus. This is exactly what the side camera started doing. I don't want spot focus. I have continuous autofocus on. 
<gasps> anyway. Vista Prince never been a fave of mine. <laughs> I've had good luck with certain things. Like I get all my business cards slash thank you cards slash the business cards that are enamel pin backing cards. Those have always been good for the most part. <clears throat> for the most part. <laughs> but it's pretty consistent and it's something that's fast and it's I can get it from Canada and affordable. Mr. Prince has been pretty good for refunds. I ordered 200 stickers for a baby shower and they refunded my whole order when I couldn't have my party during the beginning of COVID. Oh, that's really nice of them. I love watching your videos. I own a small crystal shop in Edmonton and watch all your videos when I pack and organize orders. Would love to send you crystals as a thank you for motivating me. I don't have a PO box, so I can't accept anything, but thank you. They messed up my business card so bad. Wrong name, wrong company, logo, wrong colors. When we sent a bleed. So did they just send you someone else's card then? <laughs> like... <gasps> they just send you somebody else's? Cause like, they're not gonna be tweaking your designs. They were labeled with my info. Okay, so they must have put like... Wait, like the business card was labeled or like the outer packaging was? <laughs> Motion at front door. Is that just Christian? I hear him. But I swear the alert came from before. Okay, it gave me a live view. I need a replay of the alert. <gasps> the cat! Is that a different cat or the same cat? That's a different cat. Wait, is it? The other cat had like a white belly. Let's see. Oh, baby. Wait, I think that's the same cat. At least its legs look white. <clears throat> it's kind of like torty looking on the top, but then it's got a white underside, so. A little more calico-esque, I guess. Go back home from my class, so finally have time to watch your live. Hi, Gabby. Okay. Is there an extra sheet on there? Oh, there's like a little overhang. <laughs> Interesting. It's like the backing sheet. It's even got printing on it, but yet it's purple on the other side. Interesting. The backing card had some purple printing. I need more walnuts. No, you don't. You got plenty of nuts. Give me walnuts. Okay, I've kind of already checked these. I'm just seeing if there's any with a lot of the goops. I can see some on the bottom of a stack right now. So. Eraser kind of grips the gunk because they're of a similar makeup. You got eraser dust. That looks a lot better. It's not <clears throat> completely gone, but it looks a lot better. Oh wait, wait. From one angle, it still looks dark there. Get more goop off.
Once a member, always a member. Yay, 34 months sub on Twitch. Almost three years. Time's flown, but I'd have been fun. And ya, yeah, LL all horny, haha. Ya, yeah, LL all horny. <laughs> Teresa, thanks for the 34 months. Once a member, always a member. Did you ever wear. Release any of your designs on black sweatshirts or t-shirts. Love to get some of the apparel, but I only wear black. Whoa, so emo. <laughs> so goth. Um, there will be some later in the year. Later. I just feel like I'm the pastel lady. I do pastel stuff. But uh, not only that, you know. We do like some variety. <laughs> Forget you. Thank you for the 10 months. <laughs> that readout sure was something. <laughs> Silly text to speech. There's like one of these that needs to be erased, but kind of like when there's you have a whole block and you can erase it. <laughs> Instead of trying to hold one or two. Uh, uh. <sighs> Here I thought I would just like stamp these things and that would be it. And it turns into this whole quality checking, booger erasing adventure. I'm gonna like push some of these back. I try to start laying some out to stamp them to uh, get them out of here, off the table, get them boxed up. I'm not gonna be able to lay out as many as I was before because I've got crap everywhere. Hold on, I'm turning this off and on again. Oh wait, I have this cropped. I was like trying to zoom in so you wouldn't see the edges of the the ring light, but <clears throat> the video feed is cropped. So even though I can see it on the camera screen, you don't see it. Need some kitty ghost stuff for Halloween. <laughs> ah, babies. Ah, babies. Ah, babies. When you see something move out of the corner of your eye and realize it's just bubbles popping in the bottle of Pepsi Max cherry you have next to you, mini heart attack for a second. <clears throat> I like push these sticky notes back and now they're blocking chat. I mean, while I'm standing, I can see it mostly, but I did have to lean there. Okay, let's go. These are the opposite way. There we go. All right, we're now accepting applications for Bayberg citizenship. We had to put them on hold after a disaster. Okay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Now, where did we leave off here?
Did I miss some stuff? There's Meerkat's Five Gifted, which I'm unsure if I remember, and then Julie's Nine Months. Thank you. Because I'm looking at the names. Unless I just did, I maybe I acknowledge it, but because I wasn't stamping, I didn't like read the names. Oops. What was that? Oh, there we go. Because there was, the, I don't think these people got stamps. Because Meerkat fast-tracked five applications. Okay, so there is Tanya Matox. Phi. Your application's approved. Lauren, your application's approved. Skylar, your application's approved. And Christine, your application's approved. Welcome to Bayburg. And Julie, your application's approved. Welcome to Bayburg. Journal. Thank you for the application. It's approved. Welcome to Bayburg. Bayleaf, welcome to Bayburg. <laughs> Will she will. Welcome to Bayburg. Angie, welcome to Bayburg. Alexandria, welcome to Bayburg. CEO, welcome to Bayburg. Teresa, your application's approved. Welcome to Bayburg. <laughs> Forget you. Your application's approved. Welcome to Bayburg. Bailey and her stacks of virtual sticky currency, real life bay bucks. <laughs> just came back, what's happening? We're just approving people's applications to become members of Bayburg. What if I stamp all these and then Vista Prince like, we want you to mail them back? <laughs> I doubt they would say that. And because I specifically stated half of them are fine. I told you I was gonna buy my way in. I ain't no B grade. <laughs> Yeah. B grades get their applications denied. And I was saying earlier that in Bayburg, B grade is a slur. <laughs> what about me? I'm special. <laughs> Application denied. Father, help! <laughs> Can I apply? Where's my citizenship? <laughs> Be rude. <laughs> all the stacks on the table is so funny. Looks kind of good, though. But kind of obstructing the view at the same time. I'm a B-grade sewer dweller. I'm unsubscribing. Bailey doesn't think I'm special. Well, you're just special in other ways. Well, excuse me, princess. Like what? Like in a Kikusi way. I switched from YouTube to Twitch. Keep Twitch for the monthly game streams. 
I'm glad it's cheap on YouTube to sub and free on Twitch with Twitch Prime. <laughs> Not the key cussy again. <laughs> Trying to fit five. I should start at the bottom and work my way up. It's squishy. It's squishy right now. We can't lay out as many as we were before. Size and defeat. The stacks look like skyscrapers. Bayberg is thriving. It's gonna take me an hour. Cosmic Keyframe is gifting 50 memberships. Cosmic just fast tracked 50 applications to Bayberg. Thank you so much. I don't think I've ever had a 50. Like I've had smaller ones adding up to 50, I think, but oh my God. Can I even scroll down this far to see all the names? I don't think that's 50, but I'll read as many as it's showing me. <laughs> Holy crap. All right. 50 of you just lucked out. You're getting your applications fast tracked here. Oh, Gemma says, or Gem, Gem app. Gem appel. Okay, now it's all making sense. <laughs> You're so cool for gifting the subs. Hey, Princess Pearlers. Holy shot, let's go. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Okay. Well, I'll read out as many names as it'll show me. Becca Designs, your application is approved. Marty, I'm scared. <laughs> Nicole Kun, your application's approved. Astron Eva, your application's approved. Sean, just Sean, S-E-A-N, your application's approved. Commander Cube, application approved. Welcome to Bayberg. Uh, Melissa Alvarez, application approved. Welcome to Bayberg. A.M., your application's approved. Welcome to Bayberg. Dorvenda. Your application's approved. Welcome to Bayberg. <laughs> I keep losing my spot. <laughs> Jana W, welcome to Bayberg. Your application's approved. Blue Ditto. Congratulations, your application's approved. Welcome to Bayberg. Yeah. Linda Friars, your application's approved. Francisca Diaz, your application's approved. Stacy Molina Bird, your application's approved. Pauline Artsta. <laughs> your application's approved. Welcome to Bayberg. Gotta get more applications out. One second. <laughs> $10 a person. No, it's 99 cents. $10 a person. Unless you're talking about something else. Uh, 
Are you giving us the applications? You gonna file the application yourself, unless you're lucky and get one fast-tracked by somebody. Ugh. Okay. I <laughs> don't have that much room over here. It's funny because I swung the camera off to the side so we'd have more side space. And yet here I am cramming myself into the middle of the table. I hope these are all right side up. Sorry if this inconvenience said no. This is amazing. Bayberg is growing. The economy will be thriving. Squeeze some wherever I can. Okay. Now where did we leave off? We did Stacy. We did Paulina art stuff. Okay. JL. Your application's approved. Welcome to Bayberg. Carolyn Keenis, approved. Life and Love Handmade, approved. Art with Eve, approved. Marta Figueredo, approved. Pia Wilkins, approved. Bean Sprout, approved. Cassie's Colors, your application's approved. Helen Feliz, approved. Carson M, approved. Magkin Johansson, approved. Sad Lama, approved. Shar GD, approved. Sakura Dean, your application's approved. Bryn Lulin, your application's approved. Rick Secure, your application is approved. Welcome to Bayberg. Brandy Savigny, your application's approved. Lexi Campbell, your application's approved. Melanie B. Your application is approved. Dylan Landstrom, your application's approved. Kaylee Saucier, your application's approved. Phi Lai, your application's approved. Phi Lai. Michelle Jensen, your application's approved. The doorbell just rang again. <laughs> Pablo Farabone, your application's approved. Emily Rowe, your application's approved. Is Christian getting that or what? Okay, it was a dump and run, we're good. It's not like someone's waiting. Or are they? Wait. Oh, he took a picture. Okay. Whatever that is. There's so many deliveries today, what the hell? Two of them are Christian's Amazon purchases. There was all the sweatshirt boxes came today. What else was there? Cause there was something else I ran up for midstream. Eh, I don't know. Do you know how many memberships you have? I'd have to go into my settings and check. I haven't checked recently. Okay, where do we leave off? Pablo Farabone. Wait, did we do that one? <laughs> Wait. Yeah, we did. Feli, Michelle Jensen, Pablo, well, just in case. Pablo, Emily Rowe, approved. Justin Huang, approved. Courtney with a K, approved. Lindsay Pie, your application's approved. Neon Dusk, your application's approved. We're out of applications, sorry. 
Uh, Rosie Schillinglaw, your application's rejected. No, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Bye, Miss Tammy. Have a good night. Where's Christian? Is he pooping or something? Or maybe he went out to clean my car. I like reminded him of that when I went up to get the veggies and stuff. I was like, don't forget, you said you were gonna do that. Cause like the shirts are here, the thread's about to be here. I'm gonna need him making shirts soon. But also I still need him to stamp and fold some boxes. So there's plenty of work to be done. Men are always pooping. <laughs> He'll be like, oh no, I haven't pooped yet today. And I'm like, Christian, it's 10 a.m. Okay. Rosie, we've decided to review your application again. You're actually approved. Maneri's Penguin. I feel like I'm full naming you. Mina, your application's approved. Vibeki, your application's approved. Brinz, your application's approved. Welcome to Bayburg all. Come one, come all. Do we owe taxes? Yes. This was asked earlier. Someone asked if the tax rate's high. It is. Because how else am I supposed to fund my castle? I need like a full-size chateau as the lady of this burg. Chateau Brazo is not going to pay for itself. Your day's ruined without daily morning poops, not gonna lie. It's part of the schedule. <laughs> well, he'd be like, oh no, I only pooped once today. And I was like, what? <laughs> Is that a problem? What's the currency? Bay bucks, of course. Okay, let's start getting some of these in a box. I wish you worked at the bank and reviewing my million dollar loan application. <laughs> Do we get room service daily? And no, this is not a resort, it's a town. Maybe you can hire some of the other villagers to do it.
She's like, why is my bed over here? Hey, those are my veggies. This village sucks already. Wait, Bella, how did you get in here? Oh no, I guess you technically are a member. You just, uh, well, the application's only open today. I think she might be a B grade. Hi, Bree. Kiki Godzilla stomping through the village. Hey, how are you floating back there? <laughs> Look at her, that's so cute. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? She's in the B grade village. There's a bunch of B grades back there. <laughs> she float. Top tier. Are you in the penthouse suite? We charge extra for that one for suckers. <laughs> I just remembered I wasn't pulling out all the extra sheets between. So now I'm like, did I miss some? <laughs> Cause I was just leaving them in there. Kiki, your application is denied. Is there a zoo, a theme park, a museum, a bookstore, a grocery store? Listen. We don't need amenities. Do you want a standing desk? I have one behind me. It's small. This is like a full-on table. I usually like to sit, but for certain tasks, standing is nice. And like my packing station standing height, for example. I'm right-handed now. Oh yeah, in in Bayburg, being right-handed is the sign of the devil. So everyone's gonna have to use their left hand. Lest you be whipped. You know what we do have in Bayburg? Free bread and free wine. And ketchup chips and mini eggs. And you know, those mini eggs are a big cost. Okay, this is what your tax dollars are going to. So you should be thankful. Thank goodness I'm a lefty. Good thing I'm already a lefty. Joke's on you, I like being whipped. <laughs> oh 
somewhat ambidextrous. Must be one of them bidexuals. <laughs> wine only once a month, though. And the double laps. Everyone gets one box of wine every month. Which is equivalent to like five and a half bottles. Buttons it. <laughs> I come back and the first thing I hear is I like to be whipped. I need context. We were talking about how in Bayburg being right handed is a sin. You can only be left handed in Bayburg. Lest you be whipped. <laughs> nope, no contacts for anything. <laughs> Are the non post it ones stamped? No, because they're in plastic sleeves, so I can't stamp them. As a lefty, I agree. Are these gonna be in the shop? Yes. There's gonna be a lot of B grades. piece of bang keeps falling in my face. It kind of looks good semi-faded. It's got a nice texture to it. I didn't think I'd be refilling this frequently. red stamp but I'm refilling it with pink slowly but surely so over time this stamp will become pink time for pink yeah I've filled it with pink a few times already although I don't know how much to really put in here but... oh it's extra juicy on one side <laughs> It's like magic. Juicy. <laughs> like this better not be going through. That one kind of did. The one that got the big blob. It's not, it didn't touch the page underneath, but you can see it on the back side. Oh, 
trying to not hit too hard. I don't want to like spray as it goes back up and spray my sweater or my pants. Is it a double-sided ink pad? I don't know. Like maybe if you pop the lid off, you could refill it from the top. I don't know. I just drip some ink in from the bottom. I'm just going to leave these juiced ones an extra minute. The stamp is from Vista Print. Listen, they got some good stuff, okay? I like to make fun of them, but they got some good stuff. There she is. Oh, there she is. Soft little gentle meows. You're so cute. Yep, you're so cute. Oh, she's so baby. What is the song? The song Gemini Writes? <laughs> it's Gemini Writes. Damn rats. Why, baby, why? So please pull up your pants, no offense. <laughs> While you rub your turtle decks. <laughs> what brand of food do they eat? Their hard and dry is two different. So the hard food is a blue buffalo hairball control. Those are kiki. And then their wet food is a royal canin like chunks. So not a pate, but like the chunks in gravy. We <laughs> get like you little look. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Are you a Gemini? Even better. I'm a Libra. Oh.
purring intensifies. Oh, I see a couple doggies in the neighbor's yard. It's Mikey and Louie. Yeah, that's Mikey and Louie. They would have gone nuts if they saw that cat earlier. Uppies. <laughs> Trying to tilt my head back. Oh, now I can. Parrot Kik. If she's a Kikachu. Took your afternoon nap, Debbie. May your supervisor Kiki has arrived. Get to with the pets, lady. <laughs> oh, you see which pets? October Libra? Yeah. Freddie's purring, I kid you not, sounds like a truck. She's loud. <laughs> no more work, pet me now. For dinner, I don't know, whatever Christian makes. I'm gonna lay some of these down, okay? His favors. <laughs> he owes the citizens of Bayburg favors. He must cook each person what they want. This little turd. This little turd. We're gonna have roast Kiki. She got a couple drumsticks. Yeah, she's got a couple drumsticks. Those little leggies. Your whiskers are tickling me. New scarf available at baileyj.com. Real fur. <laughs> Pet me meow. Hi, Chips and Dip. We oh, yeah, got that package that came. I was gonna go check on that. Well, Kiki, are you gonna join me to see what was delivered? Oh! <gasps> you know what I Oh no, it wouldn't be that. Actually, it looked like one box, but it could have been multiple. I'm still waiting on the planner pads. Okay, let's go see. Hang on, Kiki. Although if I open the door, she's going to freak. Yeah, there's a package. Okay, Kiki. I'm opening the door. Don't scratch me. Oh my god, there's three boxes. Ooh, those must be planner pads. She 
actually still on my shoulder. Hey, Christian. We got a few boxes. Oh, wait, was that you? Nope, I'm seeing things. Maybe he's in the garage. Oh. <laughs> Nuts, just looking for you. Kiki jumped down as soon as I opened the garage door. <laughs> but not when I opened the front door. Interesting. But she jumped down now so I can grab everything. <sighs> so there are two boxes of flare pad sized. Oh, they feel flatter but heavy. Okay. Ugh. Only two boxes of planner pads. Oh, how I've changed. Okay. What's this? <gasps> My DTF transfers! Wow! Oh yeah, and I'm waiting on totes too. Yeah, we got a lot coming. Holy crap, today has been such a day for deliveries. Oh, what a day! Okay. This box is ready. <gasps> oh my god, they stuck one of the planner pads to the side of the boxes. It looks so good. Okay, I'm gonna bring... Wow, wow. wow. Oh my god. Um, I'm gonna go with the DTF because I'm not gonna unbox that, but let's planner pad it up. I'm scared to hug this against my body because I don't want to make my sweater dirty. <laughs> oh god. It's heavy. Okay. Mamma mia. This might be the bottom, but... Oh my god. Oh, this is not even gonna do it justice on camera. That looks so good. Oh my god, I was gonna say, is this thicker than usual? Or am I just used to touching the sticky notes? So I got 250 because I feel like I overbuy these things. So they're going to be more expensive since I'm ordering way fewer, but they were kind of underpriced to begin with. I feel like at eight bucks, the camera's not doing the colors justice, but I kind of like how the yellow check boxes pop on there. Like, I usually go for a beige background for my stuff, like light yellow slash beige. And we went with purple for the Ludomoth notepad and planner pad. They're huge. Yeah, they're eight and a half by 11. They're big. And let's see. Oh yeah, the boxes are the other thing that came during the stream. Now it doesn't quite match. It doesn't really match the notepad fully, but also I purposely lightened it a bit, I thought. But it looks pinkier, so they don't quite match. But I mean, it's a different print run. a little more bluey. This is probably like a little more true to Ludamoth stuff. Because even this is different. This is even not even the same purple as either of these. But this like kind of bluish desaturated is like the Ludamoth color. Also the sketchbook's going to be its own color too. The sketchbook's probably going to be close to maybe the medium purple on here. Guys, I had to select from their existing colors. If you want custom dyed fabric, 
it increases production time, which is already ridiculously long, and it costs extra. So I just pick from like their stock colors. It's kind of like the straw where everything looks a little different from each other. Even like the Vogue sticky notes look a little closer to how they're supposed to be, a little less vibrant. But the vibrant ones look good too. Oh, I just love the way the green and yellow pop on this. <gasps> yeah, the other view I gave you is probably better. Going up to the other camera, but cute. <laughs> it's all coming together, Kook. I just want to sit. I think the Luna Moth art is my fave of yours. So far, it looks so good. Thank you. It smells like walnuts. <laughs> when will the new sketchbook designs be revealed? I must have one of every design. I've sneakily revealed it twice during live streams once here on YouTube and once on TikTok. Oh, so I can show it again. Although I still want like a reveal for the vlog too. But. Yeah. And then one of them's Ludamoth, so that's not really a surprise. Whoa. And the other one, I've kept Halloween under wraps. So yeah, the Ludamoth sketchbook's not a part of this shop update. It'll be available like in the summertime, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Erythilia, thank you for, thank you for the prime. Your application to Bayberg is approved. Welcome to Bayberg. <laughs> okay, I'll go grab it. I'll go grab the Halloween one. So all the Halloween merch is gonna be like loosely based off of this and like combined in different ways to make different designs. And like some things will be more fall and some things will be more Halloween, but this is the sketchbook. This is the sketchbook. Hopefully it translates well into embroidery. I told them they could use like regular embroidery thread for details if they need to, because like usually I get it everything thick thread embroidery, but some areas are gonna have to be like regular embroidery probably. So we'll see, I haven't seen even a sample of the embroidery yet, which is like step one. <laughs> it's been a slow process. Totally getting that one. So cute, I need it. <laughs> and yeah, Lunamoth is just like the typical Lunamoth design, oh. but oh, yeah. some of the sparkles closer to it so it fits a square, you know? Bubbles. So that's kind of like the color scheme for Halloween stuff. But also it has to make me, I have to think about how I'm doing certain things like sweatshirts, because if I do a black one, Kiki would have to be gray or something. But then I also have like these faded black blanks that are like these, cause I can't get this blank in black. The black is like faded black, it's gray. So I could do that, but I also would love a true black, something on like a black black. But also there is brown, there's the clay colored sweatshirts, but they're not as dark as I would like them to be. Cause this would look good again, just on brown. So, we'll see. I also haven't looked into my other blank options yet. Like 
To refill the ink, you should be able to lock the stamp and then extract the pad. Like extract it from the top. I don't want to break it. It's locked. How do I get the pad? Might have to watch a tutorial. Should be a button on the side. There's double buttons on the side for make, locking it up and down. I guess there's this lock as well. I have to watch a tutorial. Tutorial. Or is that the lock I just did? I don't know that is the lock I just did. Yeah. And then these clips are to like snap the lid on. Push where you see the lines on the side. That's just the gripper. It's not a button. It doesn't push in. Push it down part way, then you can pull the ink pad out. I think I see how, although I don't know how you grip that. This part should slide out. Oh, <gasps> woo! Okay. Okay, thank you. Now we can get to the edges. It looks juicy, but like, well, I guess because I did just put some pink in there, but. <laughs> Not too much in the middle. Maybe right there, it looks lighter. Don't want this oozing. I'm making a mess. I'm making a mess. Ah! Oh my God, did I really get that much ink on me? Get this out of here. Sniffing my veggies. She's not interested in them though. They're not lick one. She's sniffing more viciously now. She's frantic. She's frantic. She bit a carrot! It's juicing. Sides missing. Here, if you want the carrot, I'll give it to you. 
There you go. There you go. <gasps> Send this to Christian. I go after the carrot again. She's over it. Now she's just rubbing her cheek on the edge of the veggie bowl. You're weird. <laughs> Does she think she's a bunny? She's like, this is what I gotta do to get mommy to notice me. Pretend I'm a bun bun. Storm keeps dropping your internet signal. Would you bring back the Kiki and Midna pin? I don't think so. I would probably just make a new one or two. Can you make the pad rainbow colored? Probably. The ink might leach over into other areas, but. It'd probably be easiest starting with a blank pad. It's sketchbook superstar Kiki. Would you ever do another wooden pin with a different design? I got asked that recently. I feel like I would be more likely to make it a magnet, but I kind of forgot about the wooden things until someone mentioned it. And then I kind of forgot about it again until now. Scared, yeah, poor team. Poor mommy. You can come back up if you want. <laughs> oh, there she is. If you choose a pin to bring back, what would it be? Like a design you really like? Maybe ginger bun? I don't think I could sell that many though because I did, like I had my original ginger bun and then I ordered so many. So I don't think I would, but I just love that design. Especially on the backing card. It's like a little gingerbread man bunny. Um, I had some different bunnies. I had like candy cane bun, mermaid bun, flower bun. I already brought back Bunkin. Then there was the Kiki Minouche. There was Thick Dino, which I already brought back. Hi. Who else was there? Who else was there? There was, oh, there was the art, amazing art one. <laughs> I can't believe I made a pin based on a YouTube ad. <laughs> so excited for sticky notes. I'm gonna get going. Good night, good night, Panda. Panda Amber. Panda, Panda. Oh, she's so sweet. Say good night, Kiki. Me, I don't want to get food on this sweater, also me. Let's Kiki shred it with her claws. Ah, that was a kind of a hard whip. That wasn't very nice, Kiki. -ju. Oh, 
I got your butt. I got your butt. New take on an old design. Yeah, I could see that. Are you planning on stamping all the sticky notes? Yeah, all of these post-it ones, yeah. The ones I got from Vogue Race are in plastic sleeves, so I'm just gonna leave them in there. There's Kiki fur on here. Watch up with that. Watch up with that. Do you trim her claws often? Yes. They're probably due for another one. I can always tell when I need to. Well, either I'll hear them click when she walks or she'll make biscuits on me and it'll stab like right through the blanket and through my pajamas. That's when I know. Hers grow so fast. Or maybe Midna's just better at like maintaining her length herself. Yes, you got a little bagger, Skiggy. You to go fast. And Midna's, I've never heard them click on the ground, even when they're grown out, but Kiki's do. You got bionic nails, Kiki. Would you consider a dragon if they're cute, like Spyro or Ember from Spyro? I wouldn't do a fan art one, but I guess if you mean like in a similar style, it's a possibility. I'm not that fond of dragons, but. Okay, don't step on these, don't. And no thank you. Debbie! Thank you for the membership. I've got your application for Bayberg right here. You're approved! Welcome to Bayberg. Similar style or color palettes. A green sketchbook design? Yes, I would love actually. I feel like if I did a bunny one, I might put it on green. Like a bunny, but not a bun bun. Like, well, one thing I considered was like a side view bunny kind of leaping sort of thing. It's kind of overdone, but <laughs> it just looks so good. That was like one I thought of forever ago. Actually, in the early bunny days, it was like on green. But I could do something else on green. So much would look good. Especially kind of a deep green. Because dark is nice for the sketchbook cover because then it gets less stained. We've had pink but no green and those are your colors, right? Although it'd probably be darker than my go-to green but that means it could have a lighter green as part of it. We've had no green and I'm already repeating brown. <gasps> How was the gaming stream? I missed it. It was good. I just played Elden Ring, Elden Ring the whole time. I was really vibing with it. some millennia attempts I was shocked when I saw her because I thought she was the final boss no she's just like an optional side boss so I kind of want to do more attempts but I said on stream I would not beat her off stream so I'm like mm. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I just want to practice. And I'm like, yeah, but what if you accidentally beat her up? I don't know. So. Oh, uh, we'll see. But I need some sober millennia attempts, you know? I needed 
to be official. I'm your over 70 fan. <laughs> I love that. What do you think about that, Kiki? I said, what do you think about that? I'm trying to lean in in case so the mic can pick up her meow me. She's just on the very corner. I have my ginger bun, glad I have it since it's not coming back. <laughs> Had my own hair in my face all day. Now I got kiki fur. Oh, his box is on the floor. I'm like, why is she so hesitant? <laughs> She's trying to aim her way onto the ground. I don't even know if Christian's gonna cook if he's cleaning the car. We could do a fend for ourselves thing. We also order in once a week. That could be tonight. I mean, I could cook. <laughs> Usually we split it. But yesterday I got him to cook even though it was my night just because I was busy with the shop prep. And he didn't have much going on other than some Luna Moth pinning. Hi, Emily. Oh yeah, Mail Cat. That one is was just like a giveaway only thing though. You couldn't buy Mail Cat. I still have some of them. I've also got a bunch of stuff set aside I could do giveaways with, like product and stuff. So I gotta do that so I can clear that stuff out. And there are two colors of male cat. Oh. There are in the male cat design, but did I make both as pins? Did I? Cause like for the stickers, for example, there's like both colors schemes within the sticker sheet, but. I'd pay anything for a male cat. yellow beige sketchbook with adorable bumble or honeybee. I probably wouldn't go a pale color like that. It would stain too easily. But B is something I've had in my mind for a while now for like a possible theme for a shop update. It's like a good classic thing like the strawberry. Maybe hummingbird for the green. I have a hummingbird. Lynx hybrid character looks like a regular hummingbird with four legs and lynx ears named Sage. I'd use that sketchbook as a prop for her. He's like a weird pink red hybrid right now. <laughs> the edges are still a little more red and then more pink in the middle. B on dark olive green with plants. Yeah, B would look good on dark green. Also brown, but I've done two brown sketchbooks now. The yellow would look so good with like a nice dark emerald kind of green, maybe like a, 
or like just maybe slightly darker than emeralds, like a nice jewel toned green. Boo bun for Halloween. A boo bun? Like a ghost bunny? Maybe a skeleton face. I've already got Halloween planned out. I planned it out in January so I could order the sketchbooks. Although I haven't figured out exactly what's going to be what product, you know, I just have like the general aesthetics and color scheme and subject matters. Why couldn't they have all been as good as the Luna Moths? I only have one tall stack of B grades for Luna Moth. A sticky note B grade would be like a miscut. Some of them are miscut so bad like, that you see a different design on the edge. That would be a B grade. I have also a few that just look like they have fewer pads. Any defect really is a B grade. Fewer papers I mean per pad. Maybe there's one with like bent corners or something. That would be a B grade. But the majority of them were just miscuts. Making a bundle, yes. Although I don't think the the tote will be part of the bundle. I think it'll be more of like a stationary bundle, and then the tote bag will be a separate thing. And then there's not gonna be that many totes plus there's two types of totes so I think it's best if I just leave it out of the equation <laughs> print factory your order shipped out yeah it did it was delivered <laughs> estimated delivery date is Thursday April 4th I literally got it like before I got this email the planner pads because <laughs> they actually I don't know when they were delivered I saw when I saw that man on camera I don't know if he was delivering the DTF or the planner pads let's see oh my god he carried both boxes at once and he looks elderly strong so that was just before four o'clock and I got the email at 401. So yeah, when I got the email saying my order shipped, I already had it delivered. <laughs> oh, and then the guy, oh, just four minutes before that, the DTF was delivered. Okay, so he had one, two. Oh, that was a cat. Okay. So there was like the box slash sleeves. So, and then Christian's Amazon order came as two separate ones. The DTF, the planner pads. Oh yeah, and the, the t-shirts were all delivered today. Is that everything? That would mean five on stream and the t-shirts were before stream. It's been delivery central. Here it is, 5 p.m. I'm just gonna go check in with Christian, see what he wants to do for supper. Cause if he's still cleaning the car, maybe we'll just order in. Or just like a fend for yourself kind of thing. Just make yourself something. 
like pizza pops or mac and cheese or whatever. Got egos. Oh, it's locked. Oh, he's back in. He's here. Christian? I, w I just came to see if you were still working on the car because I was going to say we could order in or something. Unless we still want to do that. Okay. Hmm, since it's my idea, should I come up with the place? <laughs> hmm, what do I want? I mean, if you were going to cook, you still can, but... If you just want to chillax for the rest of the day, then. This will be the order in. Yeah. Our one order in for the week. I, hmm, what do I want? I might have to look at our past. Oh boy, smooching time! <laughs> A sound bite just came through and said, oh boy, smooching time. Oh boy, it's smooching. I'm sitting on the ground on the staircase and he's standing so our lips can't reach. Not with that attitude. Whoa! <laughs> um. Hmm. I mean, taste the biscuit. Always good. Oh my god, right as I said that, someone said, you taste the biscuit. What the hell? We were in sync with that one. Although Popeyes can be heavy at times. Oh. Oh yeah, there's also that, remember that place? <gasps> I think I know what I want. That one sandwich place where I got like that grilled sandwich. It was, I think they do like specialty grilled cheeses is what they mm. advertise them as. It's, yeah. it's pressed like a panini. Yeah. That was so effing good. Like I just want to get the exact same sandwich I got lost last time. I don't even want to try something else. I can't risk it. Risk the biscuit. I can go grab my phone too if you want. Meltwitch. Oh, if you're in Calgary, try Meltwitch. Oh no. The witch, she's melting. Your address is outside of the restaurant delivery zone. What? Is there a different location? Did they cut us off from the delivery zone? We've literally ordered there before. Maybe Uber Eats will let us. Oh, yeah, no, it doesn't show up at Christian, all. get ready to have those bells jingled. <laughs> We've been cut off from Meltwitch. More like Melt Bitch. <laughs> I'll give you a welt, bitch. Okay. I'm. Mm. It's another place called the Meltdown. Meltdown? I'm having a meltdown. <laughs> we could try meltdown. Do they, do they have similar looking things? I'm gonna grab my phone too to look, but also because I'm curious what I ordered from Meltwitch, I kind of want to see what type of Sammy it was. I feel like it had pesto in it. when that happens yeah like what do you mean out of the delivery zone according to whom <sighs> yeah I can't even search melt witch but I probably could do it in my order history Receipt. Oh, and they had mac and cheese bites. So he had the grilly cheese steaks. I had tattooed chicken club on sourdough. Interesting. Tattooed. What the hell? I'm looking at what this address. How how was this outside of delivery zone? Unless they're doing their own delivery, like not through. Skip the dishes. That's a close neighborhood. Why would that be out of our zone? I'm whatever. It's not that close. But 
Don't talk to me. Okay. Okay, the meltdown. That's what I have when I can't order melt witch. Talking turkey melts. <laughs> Hit and snooze combo. With kind of weird names, so I don't actually know what's in it until I read the description. Ooh, they got a turkey melt. Anything with pesto? I'm gonna say I could add pesto and then I'm like, wait, we don't have any. We have some of the ingredients. Yeah, we can do homemade pesto probably. <laughs> I could go with one that's like chicken based or turkey. So yeah, there's a turkey melt. Oh, it's brisket. And then... This one's chicken. Feeling groovy. Mushrooms. Ugh. I mean, I could just say no mushrooms. <laughs> that one's beef. It's just in the combos. Oh, because it starts with the combos. Okay. Oh, maybe I want a combo. I'll, I'll try the talking turkey milk. Are we going to order a mine or yours? We haven't added anything to cart yet. Uh, oh, that's what I was asking. Yeah, okay. Talking turkey milk. Tiny combo. turkey milk. Hold on. Sure. It basically just gets you fries and drink, right? Yeah. I'll go with. Wait. What? Every single drink is a plus money. On the on the combo? On the combo price. What? I'm assuming. Talking turkey milk combo. It's four dollars to add a drink. Well, I guess don't. Yeah. Wait. So so okay. Wait. So okay. So how much is a sandwich? The fries are seven dollars on their own. God, this is expensive. Okay. Oh, so that's what it is. So. But it's a required. So the combo is eighteen ninety nine versus. Just the sandwich alone is eighteen ninety nine. Well, did you add four dollars? No, no, no. But I'm saying, cause I'm trying to say what sandwich plus fry. Oh, the sandwich gotcha. alone is eighteen ninety nine, but sandwich plus fry is eighteen ninety nine. Yes. I don't need the drink. I don't need the drink. You can't order without the drink. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. Woo! Okay. One selection required. Yeah. Required? Required. You have to order a $4 drink for to get the combo. Well, I guess that's cheaper than buying the fries separately. Still, yeah, it's still cheaper if you... I see. That's why the combo is the same price. Okay. Um... Hmm. I'm gonna be bad and get orange juice. Okay, anyway, hello. I'm back. <laughs> the giddy up or the meltdown? Or the hot mess? Hot mess is the caramelized onions and stores. Oh, that sounds good. Giddy up's the brisket. Taste the brisket. Taste the goodness of the brisket. What's in a hot mess? That's the uh, caramelized onions and stores. Oh, that's that one. Freight? Fruit. Oh, fruit. <laughs> no. My fruit is my orange juice. <laughs> Bailey's gonna sue. So it's twenty two ninety nine for my combo in the end. Sandwich fries and a drink. I wish they just showed the fries with the drink on the front. Yeah. But we have to order a four dollar drink. Orange 
where I'm from, Meltdown is just a Denny's ghost kitchen. Did we just order an $18 sandwich from Denny's? It has a logo and stuff. Hmm. Oh, you didn't go through with the transaction, Christian. Wait, there's time to cancel! <laughs> I have so much stuff on my phone. Music, apps, games obviously, a medieval game obviously, obviously a jousting game. I have no problem being on my phone for hours and hours. I love my phone. I even have an alarm on my phone. These pictures don't look Denny's-y, but maybe it is. Does Denny have fries that look like churros? I even have an alarm on my phone. Am I in the high of you bouncing? Oops. It took me to one in the US. And why would I want to go to that location? <gasps> oh, maybe that one Meltwitch location closed. Because now, when I search Meltdown, it only shows me Meltwitch, and there's not one nearby. So I understand why we're outside of the delivery zone. But also, Meltwitch does not show up. Yes, they're called steak fries. I can't believe we're getting fucking Denny's. I mean, Denny's is fine. It just... Doesn't feel like a Denny's price, you know? Wait, they have a website. Handcrafted sandwiches with attitude because sometimes the food you crave starts with the mood you're in. Like it looks legit, but maybe this is... But it also says it's delivery only, so that's like... Wait! I, in the About Us section, it says, And did we mention it's brought to you by Denny's, the people who invented America's diner. Excuse the humble brag. So sit back, enjoy, and go ahead, have a meltdown. You earned it. Oh, I'm, I'm having a meltdown. Oh, I'm having a... <laughs> I'm getting ink on my stuff. I was like, this is probably transferring to my pop socket. It is. It is Denny's. But this might not be stuff that's on the Denny's menu. Also, why is it showing me a picture of a sandwich with strawberries on it? That's weird. That's, you're a freak. <laughs> so I wonder if they're like a separate company that's like pays to use the Denny's kitchen or if it's just straight up a Denny's thing. Like, is it created by Denny's or someone's like paying to use the Denny's kitchen, you know? I remember a few years ago you ordered Canadian Thanksgiving from Denny's. <laughs> See, See, Denny's is not bad. I just, <laughs> I feel duped. I had a rude customer yesterday. I was literally imploded on with her anger. I was like, excuse me, princess. This is not a Christian company at all. <laughs> Were you allowed to get sassy?
When I worked there, they would just rename stuff for Meltdown and Burger Den, but most of it was the same food. Well, as long as this scratches my itch for Meltwitch. I can't believe they closed that one Meltwitch location. Uh, now how am I supposed to get that yummy sandwich? Guess I gotta drive there or something. Guess I gotta leave the house or something. Denny's lied to you. <laughs> Today's been a day of betrayals. Christian order the same thing. No, he got one that was like a like beef and caramelized onions or something. It was some kind of meat. And mine is a turkey melt. I could have just gone for a turkey melt from Tim Hortons. Takeaway prices skyrocketed in Canada as well. In the UK, can't be as much as a small grocery shop. Yeah, it's expensive here. Plus, just like the delivery companies, like skip the dishes and stuff, they take such a big cut from the restaurant that usually the prices are also inflated on the app versus if you were to just go there to eat, it would be cheaper. Yeah. I was like trying to math out if we stopped doing HelloFresh, but like bought stuff to make HelloFresh meals, would it even be any cheaper? <laughs> Ugh, like we bought some chicken breast. It's like $5 per chicken breast when you buy a big pack of them. Oh my God, and the, I used to buy the frozen chicken breast because they were cheaper. And it used to be like $25 for a bag of frozen chicken breast. And now it's $40, 40. Just a few years ago, it was 25. Because I haven't bought that frozen chicken in a while, but I could not believe how much the price went up. I was like, well, the fresh chicken's cheaper. So let's go with that. And then I bag it up and freeze it. <laughs> but even then, it's like 30 bucks for a six pack of chicken breasts. And I'm like, I try to recreate these HelloFresh meals on my own. I'm gonna end up spending more. But I'm gonna try to I wanna try to like see if I can bundle some meals together that have similar-ish ingredients. Cause like you go to buy sauce, you gotta buy a whole bottle of sauce. You can't buy just like a little foil packet. So I'm like, I don't even know. Not excited to go back to US where delivery fees $5 alone. Here it varies based on restaurant, but certain ones have like, oh, free delivery over orders of this much. But then there's also like a service fee on top of it. So it's like, well. <laughs> plus tip, plus inflated menu pricing. It's not cheap. Just like something's got to give at some point because like if you look at just inflation in the last hundred years, like humans have been around for way more than hundreds of years, you know, like something's got to give at some point because stuff like inflation can't continue at the rate it's going, which is nuts. Like I said, look at just just the last hundred years, which is a blip in the human timeline. Dark times are coming. Just an Update on my friends, Bailey. Christmas present. She said that the planner pads and things were too cute and she still hasn't used them, lol, because she's afraid 
of finishing the planner pad. I got her the straw planner pad. Maybe it's just decor now. <laughs> it's enough sheets for like almost a whole year. Just gotta use them. Cause then she can get new designs. Meanwhile, I mess up a page and I rip it off and start over again. <laughs> But that's because I have like a bajillion planner pads. Sometimes there's some that are like a little messed up and so I'll keep them for myself, but then I have way too many, especially because I have like each design. I just gotta include some of the partially used ones in my giveaways, because I wanna do, uh, as I keep saying, I <laughs> do a giveaway soon because I'm accumulating stuff that I'm setting aside that either is just like slightly defective or maybe not even like sometimes I set stuff aside for product photography and then it just ends up in a pile and there's literally nothing wrong with it some of it's just like a few remnants of a discontinued product my neurodivergence wants the exact same planner every year <laughs> Especially if you find like exactly what works for you. It's like, I want this forever. Like, inflation brought on by capitalism. The profits are out of outpacing our wages by miles. They'll never pay us the way they need to to make up the difference. Yeah. Cause like, we just need like everything to freeze. We need the cost of living and everything and wages to just freeze. But it hasn't been that way. It's been like wage freeze with cost of living hike. Cause like there's only so many pin pennies they can pinch from people. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the big corporations. There's only so much before Everyone's too poor to get anything, you know? Just the whole concept of companies having shareholders would have to be abolished, I feel like. And that seems so radical. <laughs> it probably would never happen. How long have I had my shop for now? Oof. I don't know. I want to say five years, cause I had like a, I had kind of had a pseudo shop before with like my store envy. But I consider my first enamel pin my first foray into like my real shop, and that was on Wix. But I can check. Where's my cursor? It's way over there. I can check when my first Shopify order was. Kayla. Ooh, I have five orders to do for tomorrow. Good. I was worried I wouldn't have anything for tomorrow's pickup, especially since Monday was a holiday. I had a Tuesday pickup instead of a Monday pickup. And I'm like, with the new shop update looming around the corner, I was like, should I cancel my Thursday pickup? <laughs> I'm not gonna have any orders to pack for it, but we got five. Okay. Orders. Sort by, oops. Sort by. Date oldest news, there we go. Yeah, Kayla was order 1001, which was the first one, and that was 2019. I was gonna say, oh, that's more recent than I thought. No, that is four, five years ago. Yes, I was correct with five years. 2019 was five years ago, oh my God. March 15th. So we just passed the five year mark. Oh my God, and all the order totals are like $14, $24, $14, 18, 16. Cause I would have had just like a few items available and it'd be like pins and prints, you know? 
16. My average order and amount is a lot higher now. Cause I'm scamming the people now. <laughs> Hi, Cleasy. The calendar I have on the wall is still at February 2023. <laughs> I think the calendar I'm using is like a 2017 calendar or something, but I just, I printed out papers for the actual dates and stuck it on the bottom. So I can see, still see the artwork on the top page. <laughs> Cause the artist I get my calendars from stopped making them. This is the first year she didn't do a calendar. And I was like, what am I supposed to do now? <laughs> But I love the artwork in the calendars and I've kept them all. So I was like, I need to just start reusing them so I can see the artwork again, you know? I really want to start replacing basic household goods with small business products, but it's hard to know what's good or not. Yeah. Plus, I feel like, I guess at least in the scene I'm in, a lot of people do products similar to me. Not a lot of it is really household products. Although I'd like to venture into some other things, but. Ah. Sorry, this small business I follow was doing a shop update today at like 11 o'clock my time and I forgot about it. But I don't know if the product I want was actually launching today because she mentioned sweatshirts uh Rena Emenko she posted these like super cute things she crocheted she's like there's only going to be a few of them and I'm like no <laughs> but I don't know if that's actually dropping yet <laughs> no it's still available nobody go to her website if you buy it I'm going to be pissed wait till I've bought my stuff The sunflowers are sold out. They were sold out when I checked the other day too, though. I kind of want to look at her other stuff. Okay, hold on. <laughs> but there's very little time. I'm speed scrolling. Okay, I think I got what I want. Oops, I don't want the live chat. Oops, there we go. I'm just gonna bump it up to two of each of those. Two of those flowers, because I feel like I need them in pairs for like product photos and stuff. If I use it for that, I don't know. We're supporting here. I'm gonna have to re-add my credit card. Confirm it's you! Okay, yeah, yeah, it's defaulting. Well, no, these are prop, if they're photo props, 
Well, some a couple of them could be. I was like, I could just pay with the business card. Okay, the other one is saved here. Never mind, we're good. Saved. Oh my god, I'm so glad we brought this up. Thank you for bringing up the small business thing. Because <laughs> she does some like hand crocheted stuff and there's only ever like some things are one of a kind, some things are maybe two of a kind. And so I was like, I really want this little dangly. Okay. There might only be three based on this photo, but it's like... It can be a car charm, but I probably will hang it somewhere in here. Maybe I should have got two. One for in the house, one for in the car. But it's just like, I saw it in her vlog, and I was like, I need that. Okay, the day is saved. I got one. I also got some of her other, like, she has little crochet flowers. I would love a sunflower, but they're sold out. But I got two of the lavender, two of the daisies. <laughs> I've hardly been doing any work. I'm like ordering food. I'm ordering handmade goods. I was like, fuck, I said the name. But yeah, it's Brenna M and Co. Watching her studio vlogs. Just like the small business vlogs, you know? ever decide to learn crochet flowers are actually pretty easy <laughs> maybe someday I'm on the cusp of like am I gonna poo or not poo I can't, my body can't decide I know if I take my first bite of food I'm gonna be running <laughs> So I'm like, if you're gonna do it, please do it before my food's here. Or wait till I'm done eating. Very cold recently. I work for 3M, I had no idea we did full custom posts. It's cute. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they were made in the same factory, but yeah. I got these from Vistaprint. But they didn't, I don't think they print them in the Vistaprint warehouse, unless like it's specifically a U.S. Vistaprint warehouse, because I um, they shipped from the U.S. instead of Canada, like usual. So. And the box address has some weird name on it, which I don't know if is the name of the official post-it place. It's Custom Print Center. <laughs> like that just sounds so generic. Custom Print Center. Red Rock Road in Reno, Nevada. I'm like, is this a random print shop? It's obviously got to be some kind of official post-it printer. Like, the, I looked up a video of how post-its are made. I mean, it was like not post-it brand, but there was some big machinery involved, so. We watched that in last week's stream. <laughs> And I think that's what got the stream demonetized. If there was music in that video, I can't remember. I'm hooked on studio vlogs and blame you, Bailey. <laughs> I like them a lot because one, I just relate to people doing the same things as me, but also it's just good like productivity, like someone to keep you company. They're working on their stuff. I can watch it while I'm working on my stuff or while I'm just getting ready in the morning. <laughs> while I'm cooking. <laughs> you know, with all that extra time you have in your hands, yeah. I'll just buy someone else's crochet flowers instead of making my own. <laughs> okay, that box is kind of full. I need to start a new box. Oh, there, there's, I forgot that there's one of each taped on the outside. 
Oh yeah, put the Luna Moths in a strawberry box. Well, that's okay. definitely fared the best out of all these. Strawberries the worst. And the sunset's pretty okay for cuts. There's not that many B-grade cuts, but so many of them have the glue boogers that I'm gonna have to try to get off. Ugh. So like I have the potential to turn them into A-grades, but it's gonna take a lot of labor. Who knew sticky note prep was gonna become its own shop prep category? <laughs> From afar, your logo looks like a poker chip. I always say that earlier when I stamped them and I looked up in the camera, I was like, those look like poker chips. Once a member, always a member. Less than three. Less than three. <laughs> Hannah, thank you for the 16 months. Uh, thanks for submitting your application to live in Bayburg. Your application's approved. Welcome to Bayburg. Uh, did somebody say poop? Indeed. I'm giving a microwave kiln a longing stare, waiting for it to cool. This is my fave channel to watch because it's exactly what I'm looking for. The vlogs are like a grab bag of content, but I know no matter what's inside, I'm still gonna enjoy a win-win situation. Aw. Time to shit. <laughs> At the very least, got a PC. I can't believe I accidentally ordered Denny's. I mean, I'm sure it's still gonna be delicious. Just like, damn, I thought this was some like artisanal sandwich place. <laughs> it's like Denny's ghost kitchen. <laughs> ah! I was definitely covering a larger section of the table when I was doing this yesterday. But I have unloaded a bunch of sticky notes at once because I was quality checking them because of disastrous looking ones. My husband turned off your vlog the other day and I was like, did you just turn off Bailey? A lot of things turned me off. <laughs> okay, yeah, now I'm, then I'm standing. I definitely have to pee. <laughs> Denny's like, we got him. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. We were all bamboozled yet. I never would have known if chat didn't say anything. Unless my drink comes in a Denny's cup. <laughs> Usually I don't even get a drink with takeout. But I just kind of wanted the fries and it was worth it to get the combo. Like it would have been a lot more expensive to get just the sandwich and fries. Fries were like over seven dollars for Denny's fries. We're here to turn Bailey on. Fifty five burgers, fifty five fries, fifty five tacos, fifty five pies, fifty five cooks. <laughs> Sorry, I broke the Denny's illusion. No, you're just a truth bearer and we love that. Truth 
truth teller. Once a member, always a member. <laughs> Amber Louise, thank you for the 10 months. Thanks for submitting your application to Bayberg. Denied. Just kidding. You're approved. Welcome to Bayberg. Hope you enjoy your stay. They have different packaging for each kitchen. You sneaky mom. Well, I might, I'm probably at least do like a food reveal on stream and then I'm probably just gonna end it to eat. Although I will continue to do this off stream, but I'll get through it a lot faster on my own, I suppose. different pictures. I will say these pictures did look pretty good. I mean, I doubt they'll look exactly like the pictures. They just look like thick sandwiches with thick bread. I mean, maybe that's just regular Denny's, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I've only been to Denny's for breakfast, mostly. And then I ordered out the turkey dinner. But... Taylor, thank you for applying. What does it take to be a member? To Bayberg. Besides being a moron. <laughs> <laughs> Your application's approved. Welcome to Bayberg. I remember when I ordered Burger Den before I drove around the parking lot the next day trying to find the Burger Den. All I found was Denny's. It was so confused. And then you were like, oh, Den? Denny's? Why? There's a critter down there. Oh, just ended up blocking her more. Well. No eating ASMR? Ew, no. Eating is not ASMR. Sticky notes look cute, thanks. Hope you enjoy your meal, Bailey. Can we get an update on how your food is either on stream or in vlog? I'll do it, I'll do like a taste test. I'll show the food do a little taste test. Okay, some of these have boogs. Boogs. Ah. Me to Denny's. I forgive you. Never had dinners bef Denny's before. DoorDash, you sure about that? <laughs> yeah, my mukbang video. I tried a few different things on my art channel. Not all of it was well received.
Only bathroom ASMR. Oh god. Oh god! Oh my god, we've had so many deliveries today, but there's gonna be one more. The food! I'm still mad at Denny's for changing their ranch, and that was like five years ago. All the Denny's around me closed, sadly. Closest one's like two hours away. Oh. Still feeling like you have to poop? Yeah, it's like limbo. There's like gurgles and like... But it's not time yet, you know? <laughs> Schrodinger shit. Okay, I'm gonna check the delivery progress. Cause I kinda gotta pee still. At least one of these. <laughs> okay, I'm so excited for my crochet order. Okay, what was I doing? I shouldn't laugh. The, I was just laughing at the person's name. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at their name. It just sounds like an English word, like an abbreviation for an English word. Like degenerate. But also I thought it said Denny's for a second or like den and I was like, Denny's on the way with your order. Six minutes away, woo! Are you gonna take your sweater off? Yes. <laughs> My Twitch zip up is sitting in the kitchen so I could switch to that. All right, time to pee before he gets here. I love how you normalize talking about pooping. <laughs> Everybody poops. <laughs> it was at this moment Bailey was never more excited for Denny's. <laughs> I'll be back for the food review. It's mere minutes away. Let's clear some space. <gasps> Survivor tonight. Taste the biscuit. Taste the goodness of the biscuit. Oh yeah, Wish comes to Disney Plus today. 
We were like trying to find something to watch last night and Christian logs into Disney Plus and it's like, wish. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, let's watch that. And then he was like, tomorrow. And I was like, no, well, we have Survivor tomorrow. Let's watch it tonight. He's like, no, tomorrow. <laughs> he had like his cursor on the thing that says it's coming out tomorrow. But it took me a few times to get what he was getting at. Heard the sink, but nothing else, thankfully. Putting you to sleep with the lullabies, yeah. These songs are too slow. These are the last of the A grades. What is this one doing here? I think that was just a juicy one I set aside to dry. Like one of the individually stamped ones for a YouTube sub or something, her membership. Denny's. <laughs> Christian, it is in fact a Denny's ghost kitchen. It is? Yes, it says it on their website. And there's, if you search it on Google Maps, you can't find this place. Yay! Wow, a little unfortunate. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I'm trying to peel the sticker off the drink lid and it just ripped. So I can't get the whole. I'm gonna do a little taste test on stream then I'm ending the stream and I'll probably join upstairs or wherever you're eating at. Whoa. Yeah, the straws definitely say Denny's on them. But the sticker on the lid says the meltdown and the cup's generic. I was just wondering if there'd be any Denny's branding. It's just the straw wrapper says it. But the sticker on the cups said meltdown. That toast doesn't look like the pictures. I've been duped by Denny's. Okay, let's bring one packet of ketchup down because then I'll load up when I come back up. Oh, shit, the magnet. You're swapping sweaters. kids call it nowadays. Hey. How did I perfectly seal mine? That's exactly what mine did. That's exactly what mine did. I had to use my nail to pierce a hole for the straw. All right, I'm coming down, people. Denny showcase. Mm, OJ. And there's just something about like, Restaurant OJ. Mm. Okay. Denny's reveal. <sighs> so, here it is. Does the toast look as good as the picture? No. Does the chicken look dry? Yes. Or it's turkey, I guess. Is it though? The slice is probably turkey. No, that's cheese. 
why is that hard? Okay, but that's cheese. Maybe it's double cheese. I might put some on my mom's cranberry chutney on here because I'd be really good with turkey. All right, here we go. I mean, it's good, but it needs something on it, like a sauce or like a, like I said, the cranberry or like a pesto, something. I wouldn't say it's $18.99, because <laughs> the sandwich alone is $18.99 without fries. I have to like force myself to slow down with breakfast juices. I don't let myself have them often because it's like crack. Sandwich out of 10. Maybe like a five. Like it's fine, but like. The buttered toast is redeeming it a bit. Now these churro fries, what the hell are these? I do prefer thin and crispy, but I knew what I was ordering. They're good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Damn Denny's, yeah. Canadian dollars, mind you, but still. Okay, I want one more bite of this, but I really want to put the cranberry on here, so I don't want to eat too much of it without that. Let's try it without the crust. Mm. Mm. All right, you know, maybe it's a six. I really got the buttery taste that time. Oh my God, my fingers are drenched. Yeah, butter. <laughs> that shit's greasy. What you eating? We ordered it from this place called The Meltdown. Apparently that just means it's a Denny's ghost kitchen. Cause we were gonna order from Meltwitch, but they closed the location that was semi near to us. So now we can't order from them anymore. And that was like the best sandwich of my life. So this came up in the search results. So we thought we'd try it. And then someone in chat's like, Meltdown's a Denny's ghost kitchen. <laughs> I was like, fuck. But you know what? It's all right. I'm just gonna add some of mom's chutney to it. I was just doing a taste test on stream. I'm gonna be ending the stream now and gonna go eat upstairs. Although I will be coming back down for more sticky notes, but just not on stream. Ghost kitchen is shaking my head. <laughs> I'd rather eat $19 worth of snacks. I mean, I like my savory. It's a savory snack, sure. This will hit the spot though, this is good. Does it look like the pictures? No. <laughs> Enjoy your daddies. Have a good night. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you in the Friday vlog. <laughs> hey, I'm like, do I want to touch my mouse with my greasy fingers? Only wiped on a napkin? Yeah, I'm going to do it. <laughs> oh, even Kiki came to say bye. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the applications to Bayberg. <laughs> Have a good night.